Billy Pilgrim. Billy Pilgrim is going to mess with his microphone settings a little bit. Okay. It's super weird that OBS is not showing like bars when I'm speaking um, on my mixer. And I've been messing around with this for a little while and I can't get it to work. So, you know what? Let's have a peek at these filters. Noise gate. Let's have a look. Okay. So I think I have these the wrong way around. All right. Let's see. Does that sound any better? Okay. The point was that the last stream I couldn't, um, <clears throat> I could hear my fan of my laptop whirring, whirring in the background and I want to fix that. And as you can tell, I don't really have that much time to fiddle around outside of the time that I, outside of the time that I have the stream. So I'd rather, anyway, point is hope, hopefully this changing the setting around helps. Uh, time will tell, I guess. Thing is, uh, my my computer's not warm yet, so it's not actually going out of control just yet. Let's close that. Let's start playing some King Maker. Let's become kings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Time for some hardcore, no reload action. Pain and suffering at the hands of a D20. Right, well, apparently there's an update for Bag of Tricks, but we don't really care. We just continue. Don't think I've messed with anything. I'm just gonna pop in a couple of Drogas, because I forgot to take them and I wanted to. Now we're good to go. All right, obviously, <clears throat> <coughs> looks like we need to snooze. Forget what we we're doing. Probably something in the old sycamore. I forget what we we're playing. Oh, okay, Eldritch Scoundrel Archer. I remember. It's all coming back to me now. Um, I don't need okay. we don't actually need that on anyone else. That's nice. Let's have a peekaboo. So 9k to almost 10k. Felt like there were still a couple of things that we needed to do on this map, right? We killed the bandits. Did we do the... Oh, we didn't do this. Okay, nice. We should do this. Oh. Did you actually pack them? No, okay. So yeah, so for a change, we're going to try and uh, do the peaceful uh, peaceful resolution and try to make the, the mites part of our kingdom, or the kobolds, I forget which ones. I think they both join you, I'm, I'm not sure, I forget already. But then again, I do have a small brain. So this is silly, this stacks with uh, Hurricane Bow, but let's not use that just yet. Alright. Right, she's our bard. I am yours to command. You have my attention. Our front line is a little thin. It'll it'll get juicier as soon as Jacel gets another level. <clears throat> she's taking a bit of a pounding there. Uh level five she needs, so not level four. I thought she was level four to be honest, for some reason. But it's all good. I think we had XP problems on this run, didn't we? Yes. Great, they both failed. I'm listening. Did I put a point on in the uh, reception for Valor? So there's some traps here that are a little obnoxious. As you yeah, well, fortunate. Share your will. Tashani Sadi 
Oh my god, pathetic Jethel. Of course, that's the main problem with Jethel. Uh, oops. It's healing her. Relax, Jethel. Right, so there's some centipedes over here who can be annoying. Uh, we don't have a protection from poison, but the bonus is that Jethel is immune to poison, so let's have Jethel tank. Boss. Because them. Here they are. Just, as long as they don't get to our back line, we should be absolutely fine. Okay, good. There was another one in the corner. It's fine, Jethel. I mean, our archer is doing some work back here. Okay, at least we spotted one of the traps. Fine. Let's just kill it quickly now, please. Thank you. So, uh, what's our uh, check user gets XP? Okay, that's nice. So even if we trigger the traps, there's no harm done really at the moment. You have my attention. These are, uh, I forget what they are called, uh, entangle traps, I believe, actually. So, other than being a little obnoxious, if there's no centipedes to kill you, they're not much of a problem. Alright, so we've done this. There's a mobility check down here, which will save us a little, bit, a little bit of time. So we may as well go down here. Forget if we killed, I feel like we may have killed Megaloceros. Great, right, we took damage. Oh, we didn't. Oh, we definitely kind of want to do that, but uh, with what hit points? We need a rest. Like Jaisal's too low. That would just be suicide. It's fine. We're not in a um, in a rush, right? We're all good. We're not gonna need to finish, a, or we can't finish before thirty days. I should say I haven't managed to on a hardcore run. I haven't really tried to either. Never, never been a necessity, so to speak. I think it's possible, of course. I think I need a different build, though. And of course, you'd want a build that makes use of a dueling sword, otherwise there's no point. So what we'll do now is spend some of Jaithil's spells to heal Valerie. Oh, great, we start back here. I forgot about that. Anyway, what can you do? It is what it is. Oh, let's. That was a little waste. It's fine. All good. Oh, she's not wearing armor. <clears throat> that might have been the reason why she took a pounding over there. That might just be the reason. All right. How are we looking? One more. Rip. Let's hope she can do a bit better on herself. Okay, that's better. That's actually pretty nice. Good. All right. Put armor on the cat. Put armor on the cat. Good. Let's just walk there, not to take any more fall damage. <clears throat> that would be good. If we could, please. Thank you, game. Did we kill the manticore? Oh, does not look like it. All right. So there's still a bunch of stuff to do on the map. We're at 10k. Right, Jaisal is close to level 4 at least. Old Radagast over here, 6k. <clears throat> He's a ways away yet. We would love to get level 4 on him before we pick up Tristian. We'll see if we manage. Valerie was the one who was way behind. Still ahead of the mercenary, but not by much. Alright, so I'm not too worried about this fight. We just need to make sure that we... How will our buffs up? Go for the double buff on this one. Okay, before we continue, any other buffs that we need to cast? Doesn't actually look like it. So yeah, so she's doing 3d6 plus 3 right now. Because of how stupid, uh... Well, enlarged stacks with Hurricane Bow. That's the reason why that happened. Alright. We'll go for the charge. Charge. And Radagast goes for the grease. Oh, 
But, well, it is what it is. I forgot to precast uh, boost strike, stupidly enough. Well, something killed it. Let's try not to walk onto the grease. Okay, go for this one. Easy. Easy, peasy, lemony, squeezy. I think that's all we want to do, basically. Yeah, I think we've done everything now. That's uh, easy. Oh, we could do these mites in the corner down here. Let's do those. If we get, spot the athletics check, that is, of course. How much XP were they? Well, 132, 132, 2. Yeah, okay, that's a good little chunk of XP, to be honest. Fair chunk. I thought she might have dinged. No, she didn't. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, got a frog in my throat. Not a Frenchman, but a, a real froggy, so to speak. Alright, let's see if we have anything that we can heal her with, because this is annoying. She's a bit too low. We have this. Do we want to spend this, though? That's the question. Should have bought some more. Request. Probably going to regret doing that, but whatever. Oh, we didn't even make the uh, perception check. Well, I definitely wasted that scroll then. Should have checked that first. Anyway, moving right along. Let's get out of here. We could do the Technic League. Um, do we want to though? Let's have a peek. Gold. Gold. Money. I, I think uh, I'm not really comfortable doing the Technic League or uh, the Manticore at level. Most of us are level 3. We did that as well, huh? Seems like we've done quite a bit, actually. Okay, we could pick pick up the Fleming nunchukus, nunchukus, and do the uh, whatever it's called, the Snake Island. Actually, I think that's probably the future. Let's go through here. The Tsatsil Worm Island. Let's fight because we want the XP. Gonna regret this, aren't I? Nah, it's fine. We're good. Yeah, a couple of kobolds. Go for this spark shaman. Is it just normal kobolds? Oh, and a sentry in the back. Still, it's all good. Not worried for a second there. Oh, are we encumbered already? No, it looks like we are. Okay, what crap are we carrying? Spears are worth nothing. Neither quarter stays. Get rid of all that. And uh, we saw that heavy. Hmm. Sort by weight. Thylacine pelts are... Yeah, let's just drop those. They're heavy and worthless. And he picks up the loot before he leaves. <laughs> Was I encumbered again? I didn't notice. No, okay, we're good. So, <clears throat> I guess we won't be playing with Octavia though this time around. Hmm. Tristian will be the fifth party member. Okay, yeah, that'll work. And then our sixth will be Jubilust. The reason I wouldn't take, or I'd, I'm not taking Econ is because, uh, well, we'll basically be competing for the same items. And though there's definitely good bows, like, in the game, they progress, right? So it's not like uh, you, you want to be using the Act 2 bow in Act 5 or whatever. You really do want to upgrade. So that's what kind of happens when you have two archers. In my experience, you can, of course, change, the, you know, the proficiency to, like, short bow, maybe? But I think Ikan is already specced into long bows. I'm, like, 95% sure. <laughs> 
And if nothing else, the nunchuck is worth a little bit of gold. But actually, um, we're going to stick it on Valerie, and hopefully she'll smack some... Uh, some... Swarms with it in Fangberry. Fangberry Cave. Right. So here we are. I could have bought a delay poison from old, uh, from old uh, Jod, actually. That would have made this a lot easier. Just a little worried that we're going to get um, poisoned. Simply put. I don't have any other buffs, really. Precast a true strike for shits and giggles. Last 20 seconds, I believe, true strike. So you can't precast it, just need to make sure that you have something to fight shortly thereafter. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's go. Um. Oh, I forgot to enlarge her. It's fine. We can do that after this fight. Uh, we might want to drop a... Oh, maybe we don't. Why, is she not wearing armor again? What the hell? There she is this time. Her AC is pretty crap though, but man, they didn't miss once, did they? Alright, good. Hope we have uh Oh, nice. She actually dinged. Ding-a-dong-dang. Mm, I think we we'll go for strength on this build. Done with that. Continue with trickery. We'll go with perception or nature. Maybe we will go with lore nature on her. I mean, it doesn't make much sense, I know. It is what it is, right? Oh, we need athletics on someone in our party as well. Uh, we're a bit spread thin. Mm -mm. Perception. Yeah. Christian can go high perception, but still, Jaythel has a decent stats for it as well. Okay, let's not focus too much on perception. The, the thing is, you want to have one party member with, which is like maxing each skill. Yeah, you could ignore some of them. Like knowledge arcana isn't too important, uh, but actually there are some checks with, there's some checks with all of them. So it isn't bad, basically. Definitely doesn't need persuade. Although for the dazzling, yeah, she'll get Dirge of Doom though, so that's, yeah. She doesn't need it. Unbreakable Heart. Alright, she got, at least she got the skill song, she got some extra hit dice, if nothing else. And she has inflict minor wounds, so. Oh, that was a crappy roll. Come on, get that. Yeah, that was alright. Guess we'll have to live with that. Let's precast again. Go for this thing. How to use it first. Uh, she's why does she have like an upper class British accent? I will never understand for the life of me. Weird. Hello, Mr. Patu. It is ironic, isn't it? Because she has no heart. Oh, right. Oh, that's why she has this stupid accent. I thought it was because she grew up on the cold, windy island. I actually lived in the UK for uh, for a while. Actually, I kind of still do, although I'm not there at the moment. But uh, one of the things that surprised me was how hard I found it to understand most people. Like they don't speak English in that country. Tell me what you want. Change my mind. They don't speak English in the UK. I don't know what they do speak, but it's definitely not English. Alright, let's have a look. That's kind of shit. We don't have any other ways to heal Jaythel. Pain in the bum. Mm. No, we've got 11 of these. Don't, we don't have any other way to heal her. Oh, I see. My uh, my lore knowledge is pretty, pretty piss poor. I'm always happy to learn. So Kionin is like Rivendell. Gotcha. Pompous, pointy-eared douchebags. 
That's a leopard doing. Okay, never mind. Um. Yeah, I'm not really convinced that we should. <laughs> hmm. Her AC is bothered. Oh, maybe, you know what? If I don't want her to get hit, wearing armor. Small tip, guys. Wearing armor increases your AC and makes you harder to hit. Yep. All right, well, let's try it now with her wearing armor. Let's see how she works out. Yeah, we only have one fight left here anyway. All oh, right, so she's kind of like John Irenicus. If you uh, remember the Baldur's Gate 2 storyline, that sounds exactly like it. Like what happened to him. And then uh, she tries to take the soul of the Baal spawn, become a god, an immortal. Alright, maybe she should sing. Come on. Mm, let's drop her grease down here. We're getting a little squish, uh, a little low. I know, Valerie. You'll just have to bear with it. Okay, good. Well, a little close. We're cutting close here. Okay, I see. Still, there wasn't Baal the, the god of murder. Uh, he was a god of murder, not death, I guess. I did see some subtle winks to Baldur's Gate in this game, though. I think there is definitely a character called Korax in Act 2. And he's a useless guy. That might just be a coincidence, though, but I, I find it hard to believe. Yeah, let's go for a snooze. Fingers crossed that we don't get ambushed, because we're kind of... Uh, squeaking by on uh, hit points right now. Alright, nice. Alright, so what's next? How many days do we have left, anyway? 71, hmm. Okay, so we have fangberries. Yeah. I think we did do the northern part, right? This thing. Abandoned hut. Yeah, we did do that. Alright. Cool. I guess we do the technique league. Sorry, XP. Yeah, we're fine. And then do tusk gutter. Yeah, fair enough. They should, right? Any self respecting CRPG kind of has to. I think we're just going to snooze again. Screw it. I was thinking about playing some Baldur's Gate on the, this channel at some point. That's true. But screw Space Hamsters. Actually, screw Minsk in particular. <laughs> Nah, Minsk is a lovable furball. Well, not really furball, but he's a lovable little ranger or whatever. Too bad his class sucks and his stats are crap. Yeah, Pillars of Eternity had a space answer in it, didn't it? Let's go. Let's go and go here. Oh well. Oh no! Damn bows crit so hard always. Okay. Smilodon. Oh, that's Amiri's. Okay, yeah. I never pick a Smilodon on her, so I... Wondering whose that was. Pathetic Smilodon. So I guess I made her an Inquisitor. Apparently. Alright, easy enough. So far so good, I'd say. Right, let's turn on XP sharing. Bring Mary up to our level. Get on my level, bitch. Okay. I don't think we dip for this uh, build, do we? Uh, I guess we go for athletics. 
Oh, actually, she needs stuff, doesn't she, for that, uh, if we ever get there. Uh, maybe... Boon Companion. Hmm... Maybe. Do you want anything else, maybe? I don't think so. Two Strike might be good. Whatever, we're not going to play with her much anyway. We just want her to sort of survive against Tusk Gutter, just a little bit. That's all she's really required to do. Not cost us um, a precise strike, I guess. Not cost us resurrect scrolls. That's the idea. All right, let's go for the true strike then. Well, she has her light wounds. And oh, she's wearing. Hmm. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's turn off XP sharing again. I actually didn't like Pillars of Eternity too much. I don't know if you've ever played that game, but um, everybody was so hyped for it, and yeah, I was. I guess my expectations were a bit too high. But I really find Kingmaker much better than uh, Pillars. I like the second one more, actually, and most people don't agree with that as assessment. But I thought that fantasy pace, uh, fantasy pirate setting, and islands was was really nice—a change of medieval trope, and I actually enjoyed it. And it was also one of the only times where I didn't mind having guns in the game. Yeah, definitely though, I agree there. Kingmaker is better than both of them. Uh oh, are we losing? Pets? Where's Dumbledore? Okay, I think we're gonna have to go with the big guns here. Yeah, the, sec the pacing was pretty crappy. I'll give you that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Help, Reggie. Um. Mylodon is still alive somehow. A oh, stupid wolves. Uh oh. I think we might. Uh, this is the first time I'll have ever have lost this. Go for a true strike. And kill Kalana, and hopefully that'll trigger the end of the engagement? Nope. Uh oh. Wait, no game over screen? I die free. I die. This is weird. Death comes. I think the game is confused. Wait, we all get to get up again? Okay, I'll go with it. Didn't reload. Alright, apparently this is one of those fights that you can't lose. Yeah, this is like one of those fights in the mansion that you can't lose. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't tell me that this time. No, we get up again. I think when Reggie and Octavia get knocked out, we get up again. Yeah. Alright. Can't lose. Oh, it's because um, I'm sure that Reggie and Octavia have been scripted to be unkillable here. Because if they die, the whole story breaks, right? <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, this was a mess, so I'll take this fight a bit more seriously next time. I promise. Yeah, I, I think that's what's happening here. I'm pretty sure my party can die, though. Okay, let's... Uh... Wait, she's dead, though. Why is she standing? Okay, they can't actually die. Minus 12. No, okay, that should... That doesn't kill him, I think. Alright, here we go. Stay behind me!
Oh well, that was weird. Not gonna complain. I'm gonna take it. Didn't reload. I wasn't planning for a mansion stream today. No mansion stream today. What is this guy? Super tanky, technically swordsman. This can't be over. I mean, technically we should have died, right? But fine, the game didn't give us a game over screen. We continue. Get him, Valerie. Alrighty. Easy. <laughs> I think we need to spare her life, yeah. And I would turn on XP sharing again. I don't think we want either of them, actually. Yes. First try, easy. No scope. Could have done it blindfolded, to be honest. I, next time I may just. <laughs> Could have done it blindfolded. Oh, damn. It's going to take three years of resting to heal us. Mm. And if we get ambushed on our first res, that's going to be hugely problematic. But yeah, what can you do? It is what it is. What you want. Yeah, she doesn't have anything. We're really, really going to have to pray for no ambush. Uh, maybe we should actually spend... Okay, Jaythel has some... Uh... Let's go for Valerie. Actually, she needs to take this off. And maybe... Who else? Maybe my main character. One heal. Go for a Mary. Right, just in case we can ambush, we'll have a little, little something, something, little couple of hit points. Not many though. All right, not great. I thought we'd be getting more XP from that. Good. No ambushes. We're still kind of low though. I think we'll just have to rest again, to be honest. Before Tusk Cutter. Yeah, we'd rather do Tuscutter and then go to Oleg's and not the other way around. Because then we need to go back and drop the Miri off. Again. Okay, that's better. Oh, no. Not so bad this time, though. We're all pretty full. Unless... Uh... Okay, it's fine. What What is it, though? Oh, bandits. Bandit Brawler. Fucking Bandit Brawlers are my nemesis. They've, they've killed two of my characters. In the last couple of weeks. Uh, the dual wielding guys are also annoying, actually. Okay, where's uh, Radagast? What are you doing, sir? Mage armor on the cat, hey? Let's go for a uh, Grease. <laughs> ah, we got it. Nice. Oh, fuck the bandit brawler in particular. Where is Radagast? Here we go. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, whoops, I may have greased my uh, front line. Anyway, it's all good. I may have greased my front line. Oops. Don't do that, guys. Sorry about the scooters here. I feel like an old man complaining about these kids and their scooters these days. They do seem to love them here, though. They put little holes in the carburetors. Carburetor? What's the correct pronunciation to make them go faster and they they're louder as well never never inclined to do that myself when i was a teenager Ask. Right. uh let's buff the old mary a little bit it's probably still gonna get annihilated oh is it Red paint, eh? Hmm. Makes sense, actually. 
It seems to be very common here. Makes sense. Uh, they don't really check much. The police. I remember uh, in the Netherlands where I'm from. Yeah, it goes faster, exactly. Uh, the police would stop you, stop these kids on their scooter, and they'd have this like, it was like a treadmill to put the scooter on, and uh, they would t test how fast it could go. And uh, yeah, a lot of my friends got fines like that. They got serious fines, not like couple of euros, it's like hundreds of euros. Alrighty. Okay, can we st let's stick a uh, mage armor on him. Alright. The funny thing is actually, well, it's modestly funny. I, uh, like in the Netherlands, when you get your driving license, you automatically qualify for your scooter license by de by default. So I never actually rode a drove a scooter, but I was I'm legally allowed to. And we went I went on holiday with the wifey in the in Greece, and uh, <laughs> we were on like some small islands in the Cyclades, and of course we decided to rent scooters because it's convenient. And she was like I drove her. She was sitting behind me. Oh man. The first couple of hours were terrifying, I'll admit. No shame in admitting that. That was... That was terrifying. Okay, come on. Let's help her. She wounded it, guys. Look at how wounded Tuscutter is. Can you see? I'm sure he's wounded. Alright, let's go. If you say so, Mary. She's gonna... She's gonna die. She has one hit point. Ugh. That's why... I, I'm always... Yeah, maybe it's wrong to level her up, because this always happens. She takes two melee hits and then calls for help, because she has too many hit points to trigger the call for help. So she has to take another hit, and then the other hit either kills her or... Okay, well, he didn't get greased, so... Nighty night, Namiri, go into the sweet night. Oh, and he failed to save after that. Oh, well. It is what it is. I don't think that we screw up the uh, main quest line by not having a Mary with us, but uh, I'm also not entirely sure because I've never done chapter 3 without her in my party. Or not without her in my party, but without her being available. I guess we could always res her by that time. Just that I don't want to spend 6,000 gold right now on her useless ass. Oh well, we tried. Cat is tanking. 28. Not bad. Alright. This guy is annoying though. Let's go for some uh, magic missiles. Good old, trusted, tested magic missile. How is he still not dead? You've got to be kidding me. Oh no, don't kill Valerie. That would actually be bad. Oh, I should have been singing on her actually. Okay, she, he should die now. Okay, good. Okay, I'm happy that Valerie didn't die there. Yeah, I thought so, game. I am yours to command. Dying while killing the monster you're supposed to be killing, I guess, fails the quest. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I thought so, Patu. I just wasn't sure because I felt like you needed her for the Armag stuff. Because the, those quest lines are quite intertwined, but I, I guess it, uh, yeah, I guess you don't need her. Makes sense. So that's good then. We'll just boot her right now. Actually, we should probably go to Oleg. How close is our buddy over here to level? Oh man, he's ways off. Man, on the last time I picked up Tristian, he was at level four. How did he get so far behind? Yeah, I guess uh, we just get the option. She just doesn't become... Uh... Pardon me, I had the hamburgers. Uh, she does, doesn't be... Uh-oh. Be get to become the chieftain, right? Oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, it's some... spitting centipedes. Alright, we'll survive. And uh, I think we want to kill Armag anyway. 
Hmm, actually... I forgot what I specced her into. I might have given her weapon focus great axis, in which case we don't really need to kill Armag. We can do whatever, but okay, we're getting way ahead of ourselves. Wow, two centipede ambush. Terrifying stuff. Got to turn off XP sharing. He is a crazy asshole, I agree. Yeah, but he's also, he's really difficult to kill with uh, a Mary. And uh, on a no reload run, there's, yes, he has a very neat sword. That's why I thought, like, if I have uh, Valerie un not specced into great swords, I'd definitely kill him. But the thing is, you can get the best great sword in the game much earlier than uh, Armag's, actually. As soon as you get to level 8 on your Sylvan Sword, you can go pick it up. Yeah, maybe we should just do this at this point. Risk it for the biscuit. Let's go to Oral Eggs first. You can return Tusk at request. We could use that belt. Could do. Oh no, we don't have protection from poison. You know what? We might. Yeah, let's just buy it off of Jod and we'll grab the fangberries as well. We'll just um, avoid the, uh, the swarms. Or we kill one swarm and we get the, the, the one of cure moderate wounds, actually. We can do that. I think that's a good move. Also, Valerie can use the nunchucks, so that's that's that should be fine. That should be easy enough then. Oh, that's not Balkan, it's Oleg. Wait, do you get more XP? I felt like it's 150. Anyway, nah, it's probably the same. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. But uh, does that still complete her quest line then? I thought to complete her quest line, to make her, let's say, the uh, the chieftain of the barbarians. Hello, Dwayne. Welcome to Kingmaker, sir. Feel free to shoot any questions my way. I will make fun of you and tease you relentlessly. No, I won't, I'm joking. Um, okay, we want to sell that. Please don't, don't, uh, don't be afraid. <laughs> I was joking. All oh, right, I see. Okay, yeah. So, so that's what I thought. I thought you had to beat him with uh, Miri, but I couldn't do that without reloading. Yes, sir. It's a computer role-playing game, the old-fashioned style. Mm. Wait, if we're going to do Fangberry Cave, we need to change our push spells a little bit, I think. Oh, we didn't memorize Burning Hands here. Stupidly. Um, hmm. And we also needed to pick up Delay Poison. It's based on the, the Pathfinder rule system, if that rings a bell. I serve you. Oops, no, we don't want that. Delay poison. He sells delay poison or and neutralize. Is that the same? That's not the same. It means that if I die, I restart. No reloading. If I fail any skill checks that I, you know, I don't reload for skill checks. I don't reload basically, period. That's the, that's the gist. Until I get a game over screen. I don't see... Yeah. They are troublesome. Same for me, man. It took me... Well, it, I don't know. I have no shame. It took me a little bit of Googling to figure that one out. Neutralized poison is not the... Oh, there it is. Delay poison communal. Okay, nice. Ooh. Yeah, we may as well go for communal. Go for two. Three. That's a bit much. I'm a cheapskate. Exactly, Dwayne. Game over, and I start all over again. And I'm playing on hard difficulty. Not on the hardest possible. The hardest possible is insane. But um, I thought about it, but then you're really... Uh, 
kind of straight jacketed into a few builds and there's not much uh, diversity. I already feel like I'm kind of straight jacketed into builds at the moment, playing hard. And now we actually need a rest, which I forgot to do, to memorize my spells. So I, I feel like this is the right balance, but um, if I get more uh, like used to it, get better at it, I might play. I might try a, a run on insane. I just think that like getting through the even through the early game, like the mansion, is just going to be a nightmare for a no reload run on insane. It's going to be a literal nightmare, and it's already a, can be quite painful uh, on hard. Yeah, exactly, Patsu. That's why I don't really like it too much. Not that I have too much against cheesing, but there is like a certain amount of cheese that is the perfect spot, right? And uh, we don't we don't want to go overboard it with it. And especially in the early game, you'd be you'd be forced to cheese almost every encounter, one way or another, or maybe just run solo and just pray that you don't spawn any uh, ambushes, stuff like that. To get a couple of levels. Let's fight this for the XP. Yeah, you have to be insane or a masochist, I'd say. Alright, oh, back spawn. Advance. Yeah, cheese. Like, you know, use cheesy strategies that the AI can't cope with. Like, basically manipulating the AI because it's stupid. And you, you basically have to do that for every single encounter in the early game, more or less. Oh. Just not sure if we have anybody who can actually cast that. Oh, it's not cheat, it's cheese, sir. Cheese. Stinky cheese. Cheating is literally like, you know, entering something in the, uh, I don't know, whatever it is. Is there even a console? If you have a console, you know, god mode, whatever, that's cheating. Cheesing is exploiting the game's mechanics. Exactly, sir. I don't need anyone's sympathy. Precisely that. I think he might be able to. Let's see. Can he even do it? Alright, he can. Nice. Good. No problem then. I give the AI stinky cheese indeed, Dwayne. I give it to them good. Or it. I give it to it good. Mm, let's see. So I put delay poison on myself because there's spiders in here and they poison, you see? Very clever move by me. I am your shield. If I may say so myself. We will Genius! Voice of a generation. Alrighty, um, okay, let's just go for some magic missiles. And uh, this game is real time with pause. Actually, I think most people play it in turn based, to be honest. I don't know why, I just, I'm used to playing games in real time with pause, but I have nothing against turn based, unlike some people who seem to have a rabid hate against it. Uh, I will switch between modes now and then, but usually only for the most difficult fights, because that's when Billy decides to cheese. Some people might consider that cheesy, for example. You have my Dwayne. Dwayne. Submit. Oh. Right, let's, uh, oh yeah, no, we're fine. Don't think we need to sing even. Ooh, the cat, though. 
cat has taken a pounding already. I don't like you. Hmm. Maybe yeah, we shouldn't do the next part. Alright, let's see how uh, well uh, Jaythel can heal Valerie. Oh, this is one tanky spider. Yeah, I know. And, uh, you know, the most popular modern RPG games, I guess, are uh, all the Larian games. And I'm personally not a fan, but I understand why people like those. And they're all turn based as well, aren't they? That's good. Let's go for some Persuade. And so is the Pathfinder, by the way. Pathfinder is actually 3.5. If you ever play d, &D 3.5, there's a lot of uh, similarities between uh, that and Pathfinder. Mm, I think we'll do that later. All right, let's wear the nunchucks on old Valerie here. No, sir. I never actually played pen and paper uh, tabletop games. Basically, because I have no friends. Or maybe I should say, all my friends were so cool that they never, they didn't play those games. I think that's how I should say it. Yeah, it was, Patu. Poor kitty cat. Actually, I need to heal a cat before I forget. And uh, I need to heal Jaytho a little bit. Alright, that was a decent roll. No. But I have her charge the cat. Alright, cat. 13, one more. You get him, Jaythel. Well done. The undead booty does her job. The undead booty does her duty. Alrighty. Let's go for a bless. I think we'll only do the first set of uh, en engagements. It's based on D&D, &D, sir. Loose not loosely, it's actually a direct uh like you derivative of 3.5 like D D 3.5 there's D D 1 there's D D 2 there's D D 3 actually i think there's also D D 2.5 to be honest okay you and jaytho go for the spiders Jaythel, you sing. Assist me or lose me. Oh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll lose you. That's all right, Jaythel. Advance. Cool, sir. I think, um, well, from what I've heard, people find the uh, fifth edition much more fun as a tabletop game than as a computer game. But I may, I may be mistaken. We'll see how... Uh... No, sir. I have not. But we'll see how Baldur's Gate 3 turns out, right? That's the next big 5th uh, edition game. I uh, am not too optimistic about that one, but that's just me. I'm a cynic by nature. Right. Oh, damn it, she took the XP. Anyway, 66. We'll, we'll survive. Yeah, I've heard about Celesta. I'm actually m mildly curious about Celesta. The thing that I don't like about Larian, and that's my pet peeve with them, is their writing. And uh, no matter how good the mechanics are of their game, if the writing, like, bothers me somehow, then I just can't play it. And... Uh, all of their games, the writing bothered me. But I know that people love their games, so who am I really? And for some reason, the writing in Kingmaker doesn't bother me. Okay, it's cheesy and cringy at points, but that's kind of normal. But the way it was cheesy and cringy in uh, Divinity didn't really... I don't know. 
Oh, sorry guys, my phone, I should mute it. Oh, my mom got vaccinated, good for her. I see, is that tabletop then? Or is it a, uh, like a simulator? Oh, damn it. I forgot to... Oh, let's also not forget to do the last one. Let's go for another quick snooze. Nobody noticed. Two snoozes in a row. I think Oleg should actually charge you for snoozing. Oh, I guess he doesn't charge you because you rescue him. Yeah, that's fair enough. Fair enough, Oleg. Right, time to rescue Tristian, I think. What are we looking at? All right, we've got a decent amount of XP on ourselves. At least. So I've never actually done Act 1 this way on a hardcore run. I'm not sure how it'll pan out. Okay, cool, I see. There's also, uh, yeah. So it's like a simulator, a tabletop simulator, basically. There's, um, there's thing, uh, websites that do that for every rule set, I believe. More or less. The fire, what do you mean? Yeah, we, we, we just killed the spiders. Oh, uh, let's just fight them. Or XP. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I forgot to bring the fan berries of Buck and I, and they're spoiled now. We have to go back, boys. Did I? Yeah, I didn't give them back then, like an idiot. My geriatric mind. Yes, you need to use fire or acid. Uh, actually, I didn't end up using my uh, burning hands, even though I had them memorized. But uh, my main character was actually using acid splash, which I forgot about. <laughs> So I didn't need to memorize the burning hands that badly. There's another encounter after that one swarm with three or four swarms. And you definitely want the burning hands for that, but I decided not to do it. So the reason we have to go, we first have to tell Bokken that we had the fang berries. He'll tell us they're rotten and we'll have to go back and pick them up again. Because otherwise we bug the quest. If you're ever wondering. I am a... Eldritch Scoundrel, sir. And two levels of Eldritch Archer. But I'm gonna go mostly into Eldritch Scoundrel. So I'm basically gonna be a Mage Archer, I guess. Yes, they are, Dwayne. We got a rest because we're exhausted. All right, let's do it this time. Not forget the fang berries like an idiot, or let's not forget to return the fang berries like an idiot. Um, how many rations do we have before we? Go back to the west side of the map. 17, okay, that should be enough. Thinking about doing this, what's our level like? Three, if we had glitter dust, I'd definitely do it without thinking, without blinking. But we don't. So I'm a little weary of doing that encounter with the Manticore just yet. No worries, Dwayne. Oh, I'm a wizard, so I have a spell book. I'm not a, so this is a sorcerer, for example. He gets only three spells, but he can cast them six times a day. Um, let me just 
see something here. One sec, guys. Oh, here we go. Um, let me just make this a tiny bit smaller. There we go. Oh, stupid. OBS. Anyway, there we go. Fixed. What a bother. Inappropriate. Oh, come on, Jethel. There we go. Oops. But you'll recognize a lot of things from the D&D 5th edition, actually, in this game, because... Uh, Wizards and Sorcerers work exactly the same, for example. A lot of the prestige classes are actually the same, more or less. You'll definitely recognize some uh, some similarities. I just splashed water all over myself. That's what she said. Nah, that didn't work. It's alright, I'm also sorry for my bad English, man. Light. Various to Bokken. Yeah, no worries. I understood. Mm -hmm. Give him fang berries. All right. Did that at least. Let's get the hell out of here. So what are we looking at? He's still like 800 away. What's eight times five? That's a lot. Um, let's go to... Yeah, okay, we're gonna go pick up Tristian. Screw it. Time to pick up Tristian. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Why, how are you? Anyway, whatever. I gotta say, how are we fatigued already? But I guess we didn't rest after we went to pick up the Fangberries. My constitution is low. It is a bit of a pain to play a low con character. Like, 12 con is pretty low. Yeah, I knew that would be another one here. Oh, wait. She can. Oops. Needs to swap back to her bastards. Actually, probably does more damage with this thing, doesn't she? I'm pretty sure she does. It's not like she'll hit anything anyway. I think uh, the main difference is that Pathfinder has more classes. And maybe more feats as well. Decide for yourself if that's a good thing or not. No, it's just a flaming weapon. You see? 1d6 fire damage. It's a flaming nunchaku plus 1. So it does 1d6 fire damage. But yeah, it probably does more damage. She's expecting to bash her swords. But actually, they're the same. This is more damage. Um, let's go. The Temple of the Elk. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that we don't have any glitter dust with us for these uh, critters, because they're actually extremely obnoxious without glitter dust. I have lost a run or two to this fight. Or three. Probably more than three, actually. Especially to the boar. You're such a bore. Bore. Great, it's raining as well. Uh, let's hope it stops raining. Like, they already have consumer bonus. If they get another consumer bonus from the rain, that'd suck. And I believe they stack.
Alright, okay, at least it stopped raining, good. Let's stop whining so much, Billy. Uh, it's a will save, Patu. And it's... Yeah, that's basically what makes it so strong. Apart from the fact that it also helps against concealed stuff. The blind is really powerful. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely one of the best early game uh, CCs. I'm pretty sure it'll be good in Wrath of the Righteous as well. I don't think Greece will be as good though. It is a bit weird, isn't it? I agree. Oh, come on, leave the cat alone. Yeah, we were just talking about that game. Um, I, I, I enjoyed them, but I didn't uh, I didn't get into them as much as I did into Kingmaker. I definitely prefer Kingmaker. I like the second one's setting. I think that's an underexplored setting for fantasy, like... Tropical archipelagos in a fantasy setting. That's cool. I mean, that's... That could definitely be done, you know? It should be done more, in my opinion. Like, instead of the you know, European medieval trope, it gets a bit tiring. But other than that, the game was a little lackluster, in my humble opinion. I felt like the choices, like the three factions were basically the same shit, no matter what you chose. And the first one had too much reading, and uh, it's a not very well kept secret that I don't know how to read. Yes, my uh, Sylvan, this guy is called a Sylvan Sorcerer, sir. And the Sylvan Sorcerer is a sorcerer who also get a pet. And I chose a cat. You could choose from a bunch of different animals. The, the, the leopard is probably the most uh, well-rounded pet, I'd say. Oh, come on. Get him. At least sometimes they'll run around the back. And that's when I'll lose the run, basically, when that happens. It doesn't look like they've... Uh, figured that out just yet, these wolvies. But probably they will soon, I feel like. Alright, somehow that triggered them into moving forwards for some weird reason. Alright. Yeah, you see they have concealment which makes them obnoxious. Now my main character, so in this game you can also hire mercenaries, but my main character is not. I have hired one mercenary, because none of the companions in the early game um, can really be spec'd into a crowd control kind of character, so that's why I like to hire one mercenary that does that, because otherwise you're kind of screwed on that department. And especially on harder difficulty levels, uh, the saving throw bonuses are quite high for the enemies, so they'll regularly save. And that's why you need a, a sorcerer or a wizard that's really specced into a difficulty class, making their spells more hard to save against. Yes, well, one of my companions is a sorcerer. This is a bard and this is a fighter mage, let's say, or a fighter sorcerer she will be. But unfortunately, I think we're actually going to have to snooze already because Cat is almost dead. We have three greases. Actually, that should be enough. But she has no more song left. No, no, we're going to snooze. Uh, what's his XP? Okay, he didn't get enough to come close. Uh, basically, mercenaries, you can hire mercenaries at any point in the game. Uh, they get less points to distribute on their stats than your main character, though. And also, most of the companions kind of have better stats than mercenaries. Actually, that's a lie. Only a couple have better stats than mercenaries. I'll be honest.
I mean, it's just like resting in any D&D game, right? You reset your spells, you cast all your healing stuff, and if you succeed the cooking check, you get a bonus from the meal that you cooked. But in this case, I don't think I've assigned a cook, so we're not getting the cooking check. But as soon as we pick up some more people and round out the party, we will be getting a cook. We could actually start using her uh, self buffs right about now. Let's see. 5 to 15. What happens when... 4 to 13. Now this is still better. Oh, oh yeah, she's not wearing armor, of course. She gets two attacks that way. Still not tempted to do that, to be honest. At two minutes should be enough, normally. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's precast everything else. Yeah, we don't really have anything else that we can do. So this guy is actually the most obnoxious thing on this map. My humble opinion, at least. Well, she cast this spell called Shield. Because she's a sorcerer, so she gets that spell. Look, he killed the cat already. Please, please grease him. Come on, Radagast. Okay, nice. We got the grease on him. Uh, let's go for damage. So, because she normally uses a tower shield, she gets a minus two. If you look at the description, it says an additional a minus two additional attack bonus. Which is a bit confusing, but they mean to say that you just take a two attack bonus penalty. Why would you say minus two additional attack bonus? That's just confusing. Anyway, point is, you have less chance to hit when you wield a tower shield, because they're so big, I guess. So that's why I took it off. And uh, you get the same amount of AC from the shield spell, only the shield spell lasts depending on how many levels you have, of course. And she's level 2 now, so it lasts 2 minutes. But we'll actually recast it, and I take off the armor because she gets an armor class I'm listening. or an armor, arcane armor casting penalty, which means basically she has a chance to fail arcane spells when wearing armor. As does this lady. The cat is almost dead, so at least the cat didn't die, so that's good. It's four flat AC. Same as the tower shield, which is also four armor class. But later on in the game, you'll get magical tower shields, of course, which will add more than four. But the shield spell will always add only four. But um, I like the shield spell more. Well, in the late game, the couple of AC doesn't matter too much. Plus, magical tower shields come quite late. Although I think you can pick up a plus one one quite early on, but I am yours to command. in general, they come late. Oh, damn it. I wanted to get my charge up. This is another quite a... Oh, I forgot we only had two creases left. Might not be enough. Alrighty. This is going to be a close one. Okay, we landed the first grease. Uh, Jethel Singh. For a true strike, I think. No, no. Tower shield is four AC. Shield spell is also four AC there, but the shield spell doesn't have an attack bonus penalty. Exactly. Oh, come on, Valerie. She's not fighting defensively. When did I turn that off? That was a mistake. Okay, let's pop a potion on her. Let's inflict that at some point by accident. 14 is not so bad. So what's her AC? So she has 31 AC right now, which is not bad actually. Jaythel is quite shit. Nice. Okay, all good. All is well as it should be. Turn on XP sharing for Mr. Christian. The traitor. 
I swear. A Saren. I have never a Saren Ray fanatic. You are very. Please wait. Thank you. Okay. Exactly what Patu said. Valerie had 31 just now. How curious. Um, sounds like a lot. It really isn't that much. But okay, it's still the early game. And in the late game, uh, the other kind of... So now... In the early game, AC is fine, but in the late game, it kind of drops off, and you want to focus more on uh, this one over here. Touch. We'll fix that down the line, hopefully, if we can. But it's not a priority at the moment at all. Okay. Tristan is still on his face. Hopefully, we have a crossbow for him. Nope, we do not. Oh, well. Uh, let's fix his spellbook, though. It does not need... Let's just go from fresh. Okay, one bless. One remove fear. Two remove fear. No, one. Mm. One bane. Fine. Don't need these. Bless weapon is actually pretty nice. I will go with delay poisons for now. Maybe a... Full strength? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, it's 31, I said. I wouldn't know, Dwayne. I don't play 5th edition. <laughs> but in Pathfinder, I think you went around, like, uh, in the late game, you definitely went up into the 70s, I think. Oh, really? It's only 20? Pathetic. Those are rookie numbers. All right, so Jethro is a better huntress, apparently. Tristian can't cook. What can you do, Tristian? You use this twat. Well, I guess we just do it like this then. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, max level. Oh man, I read max AC for some reason. Probably because my uh, brain volume is pretty low. All right, do we actually want to do this fight right now? This killed us, this killed our last run. This would be the revenge of our last character. And I would really prefer to have uh, Glitter Dust on him for this fight. Let's go and see if we can't squeak out some XP somewhere else. For example, well, we could definitely kill the Manticore first. That fight's much easier. I am tired, sir. It's Friday, we have a baby boy in the house. I wake up at 7 a.m. every day, well, that's normal. But sometimes we don't get to sleep because the little boy decides to stay awake. You don't actually get a, a, a good stretch of sleep when you have a baby. That's, that's the tough part. It's not the amount of sleep, it's just that it's never a good long stretch. But I'm not complaining. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. It's fine. It was worse, to be honest. Yeah. I wish they were. <laughs> I, uh, I tend to have to work as well on the weekends, unfortunately. But hopefully only for the remainder of this year. And I squeeze in enough Pathfinder Kingmaker to get my to get my rocks off, as they say. So I'm good. I'm all good. Streaming has actually been pretty fun. I was actually playing. Uh, I started streaming uh, just around Christmas, I'd say, during Christmas break. When I actually had some uh, more free time. And uh, I was playing, then I stopped 
streaming for a while because uh, basically cause my laptop couldn't handle it. And uh, I felt like it was definitely a lot more boring to play without streaming it for some reason. The interaction definitely makes the game, especially like single player games, right? It's nice to, uh, to have a chat while you're playing, I guess. And then you get used to it, and then you miss it. I appreciate privacy. Mr. Cat? What's happening over here? Oh, it's uh, actually a battery. I was a little confused. Pick Christian back here. Right, let's go for some... We're actually going to use that on myself. Because composite bows allow you to apply your strength as bonus damage. Let's give that to Jaythel because her AC is crap. He does not have- oh, he does have major armor up. Okay, so we need to buff ourselves. Alright, oh, and she actually does need to cast shield if we're gonna do this. Go. Wear that. All right, let's check out Mr. Manticore, see if he wants to come out and play. Oh damn, it's raining, I didn't notice. Oh well, it is what it is, right? What can we do? It's too late now. Let's, uh... I don't think they announced a release date. But yeah, there's definitely a new, uh... it's not an expansion. It doesn't continue this uh, storyline. It's a new story, basically. Oh, I should have blessed. Oh, of course, I forgot. I should have uh, memorized Inflict Wounds here. Damn it, I really don't want to dump the bull strength, though. Damn it. Jaythel, you ruined my plans, as usual. Okay, let's just get another one of these. Okay, according to my chat the other day, the lightning bolts can't kill you. We'll see if they were right. Okay, good, he got greased again. Oh, really? June? Nice. I'm really looking forward to it. I, at first, I was a little skeptical because, again, I'm a cynic. But no, actually, I think it's looking quite promising. I'm actually quite excited for it. I really hope that it's uh, what Baldur's Gate 2 was to Baldur's Gate 1. That would be amazing, really, if they manage that. Then Alcat has my undying respect, truly. And all they need to do is not release it with as many bugs as Kingmaker. <laughs> and that'll be good for them as well. No, but there was a guy, uh, Eshiver, in chat from time to time, who has definitely asked that question. But I will give you the same answer. No, I have not played Gloomhaven. Alrighty. Where are we off to now? Okay, I guess we could go to Jod and return the quest for freeing Tristian. While we're here. And hopefully that will ding our Sylvan Sork. And that way we can kill the or the troll. I was going to say orc. But it's a troll of course. And I'm just a little worried that we won't actually get to level 5. Before fighting uh, Tartuk. Because there's not much XP left on the map. And we're not going to... Oh well we'll see how it goes. We're not going to be killing the kobolds and mites. How may I serve you? Erast to be praised, you f as far as I know, I trust in their Christian is undoubtedly still there. Okay, as you enough wish. of this. Bye bye. Well, Patu, what? What? I don't know what you're wanting. What? What? What?
What? What was the most tabletop RPG of 2019? Sorry, I must have lost something. Oh, Gloomhaven. Gotcha. Okay, cool. I mean... But, you know... I am of the opinion that you play a computer game... You're If you're playing a computer game, it doesn't necessarily... Like, being closer to tabletop doesn't necessarily make a computer game better. Because it's a computer game and not a tabletop game. Right? That's kind of my... Uh, my way of looking at it. And it doesn't necessarily, of course, mean that it's bad, but it... It's just that tabletop doesn't necessarily translate well to to a PC game, right? What works well on tabletop is not necessarily good or f necessarily fun when you're playing on a computer. And uh, I think people get into this trap where they really want like these, like D&D 5th edition and whatever Pathfinder to be as close to tabletop as possible. But then I'm like, well, in that case, just don't play on a computer, right? You can't. And then people get upset because, you know, people use cheese. <laughs> they cheese fights and stuff like that. Anyway, it's it's silly. Uh, all right, let's get the hell out of here. The funniest thing is when people get upset how other people play a game. That, that shit cracks, cracks me up every time. Um, should we maybe... We could disarm some traps, actually. Oh, let's grab this XP. There are some traps to be disarmed still in the Ratnook Cave that we could do. Ah, thylacines. That's not much XP. We were hoping for some banditos. All right. Also, with level four, the cat has grown. So he scales a bit better. I, I agree, Patu. I can't believe they haven't done that yet. Ninkum poops. I do miss, the, the one spell that I miss from Tabletop is Time Stop, right? I feel like the level nine spells in, uh, in Kingmaker aren't that strong, really. Time Stop was always so much fun in Baldur's Gate. I love that spell. Like, broken OP spells are cool. Changed my mind. But okay, that, that spell was truly busted. Yeah, exactly. They're a little dull, the high-level spells. It's a shame, really. Oh yeah, exactly, Dwayne. They kind of have to, and... That's what I'm saying, right? Like, uh, if you want to mimic every single rule on tabletop in a computer game, you're going to end up, you know, it's just going to be boring because the tempo of the game will be super slow and people will get bored playing it. Well, that's just my two cents, obviously. All right, what we're doing here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that's not even a level 9 spell. Oh, probably for the best that it isn't, because it would be a shame. So, I haven't actually done uh, this way of... ...of making peace between them, so let's hope that I don't dialogue boss myself by... ...clicking something wrong and starting a fight when we didn't want to. But to be fair, to use Sirocco, you kind of have to have level 7 spells as well. You need uh, Firebrand. That uh, maybe not needed, but it does make it a lot more pleasant to play with Sirocco. Uh, where is this? Yeah. Oh, no, no, she doesn't need it. I don't know if there's a board game, but there's definitely tabletop. There's a couple of modules. I I feel like Kingmaker is a module that you can you can buy. What a surprise. Uh maybe we should Should we take the XP for ourselves here is a question. 
Yeah, we should. We want level five as soon as possible. And I think Wrath of the Righteous is also a module, or anyway, it's like a... It's already written story, right, for, table, uh, for Tabletop. And I actually like that idea, because I think that Tabletop is too dependent on the DMs to be, like, fun. Like, I have done a Tabletop campaign once, and it was one of the most boring things I've ever done in my life. But I think that blame solely rests on the shoulders of the DM we had. Who had no idea what she was doing. Speak. I will grant your request. So yeah, I think that's definitely uh, an issue. And by having your own pre-written campaigns in your rule set, that definitely helps. Uh, Pathfinder does that a lot, I think. Also that way everybody can take part, which is nice, right? Alrighty. So what are we looking at? Okay, 800 to go. There's a bunch of XP to be had here. So at least we'll get level five on our main character, I guess, if nothing else. I'm listening. Do we want to stick this on the cat maybe? I think spiders do dex poison, so we really would kind of hurt the cat if he gets poisoned. Oh, and we can sell this bless ring now that we have the real thing with us. At level 5, at least we'll get um, sneak attacks finally, so our damage on our main character should be getting a lot better. But we'll have to be patient until then. Uh, I forgot that there were at least a couple of fights that were still uh, gonna be. Uh, so I thought everything went uh, neutral, like. Not, not hostile, but I forgot about the spiders. Which is good, because we really, really need the XP at the moment. On this fella. Okay, 1500. There should be enough XP. Uh, I don't think he can disarm traps very well. Alright, let's really hope that we don't trigger any of these, because that would be just a snoozer's fest. Dealing with web. Just annoying. Nothing else, it's just tedious. Oh, I think I should have bought, um... Oh, Christian, please. Should have bought the Extend Magic Rod. I think we actually had enough gold when we were at Oleg's last time. Anyway, too late. We're not gonna go back for it. But it would definitely have helped our main character with her uh, buffs. Or Valerie actually would have been good for her as well. I'm pretty sure there's another trap here somewhere. Uh, debuffs. CC, sir. This game is all about the CC. So, at level 1 it's Grease, level 2 it's Glitter Dust. They're all AoE. I'm not using them very often. It's not really necessary for the spiders. Spiders aren't particularly scary. I could drop a Glitter Dust here, but I want to save it for... I don't know why I want to save it, really. I mean, we could use it, why not? Actually, let's not. <laughs> but you can also cast things like Fireball, but I'm not level... I don't have level 3 spells yet. But I'm not... Uh, the game has, uh, like... I think maybe unless you play on story mode or something, you you always deal damage to your uh, allies the same as to enemies, right? So you, you always need to have some kind of mitigation if you want to be casting spells into your whole onto your whole team and hitting your allies as well as the enemies. If you get what I'm saying. All right, nice. Level 5 acquired. Um, don't actually... Yeah, we'll go for Trickery and Stealth, Persuade, and UMD. Easy. And we'll go for Accomplished Sneak Attacker while we're at it. 
what should we? We could go for Elder Curve Blade for shits and giggles and keep one uh, just in case we ever need to swap. Should have picked that earlier, but it is what it is. Does not matter at all, actually. Um, anything else we really want? Expeditious Retreat actually is a useful spell. And let's change this into whatever. Actually, it doesn't matter at all. Let's make sure that we fill out her spells. I mean, another, no, not another Hurricane Bow. Enlarged Person. I actually only recently found out that Hurricane Bow and Enlarged Person stack. Yeah, well, not a Ranger, actually. I didn't pick any Ranger levels. But I guess you could say so if you mean, mean Archer by Ranger. I am a, I'm a rogue character, so I get sneak attack damage. And spellcasting, it's like, uh, this is a, a spellcasting rogue. There's another version of this called Arcane Trickster. But they get, they can get higher level spells. It's a bit complicated, maybe, to try to explain, because I suck at explaining things. But anyway, Arcane Trickster is a different prestige class. And they get shit to your attack bonus progression, but a bit more sneak attack damage. Anyway, there's a lot of different classes in the game. You'd go nuts. Uh, it definitely has a learning curve. But I'm an elder scoundrel, and uh, this build, this uh, class, I should say, is not played very much. It's kind of considered a meme class, and uh, I kind of agree. It's not that great. You could definitely get better results depending on what you want to do. But for what I want to do with this build, I think it's definitely the best class. Uh, well, I made a build that actually dipped into Wizard and then Arcane Trickster and then Elder Knight, but that just m turned out to be like a confusing mess kind of thing. It worked and it got higher level spells than this character will, but this character will scale much better in the early game. And that's important for no reload runs. The early game is generally the hardest part of uh, Kingmaker, I'd say. Well, also the late game is pretty hard. The early game is hard and then the late game gets hard again. We're not sharing XP, are we? How long have we not been sharing XP? For a good while. Same in uh, Kingmaker. Depends on which subclasses though. Some you can get early and some come a bit later. But the earliest ones you can get after level 3. Like Arcane Trickster, technically you could get it after level... Oh no, level 4 it is, I think. But you can pick a multi-class instantly. But uh, not a prestige class. Prestige classes you need to qualify for and thus require more levels, generally. Alright, we're not gonna... These aren't gonna be aggro or hostile. Oh, you damn Christian, we're going up in front again. Got a babysit him. I wish clerics had a cantrip. Uh, oh, we have a crossbow, nice. Duh. Well, prestige classes are maybe a little better than uh, base classes. Not necessarily true, but I think that's the idea, though. So they're a little different, more difficult to qualify for. And require a couple of levels. And often they require you to multi-class. Before, uh, so you might need one level of rogue and three levels of wizard, for example, before you can pick it. Blishfulness, blishfulness. All right. Where is Chief Sutsuko? How curious. Mr. Chiefy. Okay. Oh, okay. That's how you release him? That's easy. Okay, it is time to continue my journey. Later, Harem. Oh, damn, I should have turned on XP sharing for that. No, he's going to be way behind now. That kind of sucks. That means that he'll suck as a, uh, oh man, as a high priest. 
Oh, it's not the end of the world, but still, we'd rather have him at our level. He's not going to be behind too far for long, though. It should be all right. Oh, that was a bit of a bummer. Yeah, I'd, well, I'm not too familiar with D&D, but it sounds awfully similar to Kingmaker, although there's no such thing as... Uh, there's a class called Knife Master, for example, who are masters of knives, and their sneak attacks do 1d8 instead of 1d6 if they use daggers. With any kind of dagger. Uh, it's not specific to the rogue. Uh, anyway, there we go. I'm not sure how we resolve this peacefully. So he gave me the thing, didn't he? So now I think I go back to the... Yeah, that's like backstab, I guess, in D&D. I don't know what the name might be in D&D, but I think it's sneak attacks, to be honest. If I'm not mistaken. Then again, it has been a while since I played D&D. Uh, &D. And I, probably the last D&D &D game I played recently is Neverwinter Nights, which is third edition, which is basically the same as Pathfinder. So, And then I played, before that, I played Boulder's Gate. Best game ever. And there's no sneak attacks in that game. There's only backstabs. And I actually kind of like that system more for thieves. It makes thieves feel more special, like... Instead of adding a little bit of damage to every attack, they get one huge massive attack, like a thick erect attack that will slay a person instantly by doing heaps of damage. And then they're useless. I kind of like that more than uh, the way that rogues are implemented nowadays, to be honest. But what can you do? It is what it is. Second edition, sir. Second, I'm pretty sure we left one trap here. That's an old one. Definitely a great game. In my humble opinion. And one I would highly recommend everyone to play. If you enjoy role-playing games, of course. And in my opinion, and I'm biased, it definitely holds up. Like, the artwork is nice, especially Bulge Gate 2. It still looks good. It's painted. All the backgrounds are painted. It's really nice. And, uh, yeah, the engine works well for what it does. It's just a little clunky, the UI. The UI. I thought we had to get, like, uh... All oh, right. Okay. He wants. He does want the mandibles. All right. So there are actually some hostile things in this dungeon. Forgot about the centipedes. Not that they're extremely threatening. The spiders are scarier than these things. Uh, I'm not optimistic. I don't like Larian. I'm sorry for all the Larian fans. If uh, they are offended, please don't be. I played their other games and I didn't like them, so I'm not sure that I'll like Baldur's Gate 3 necessarily. I am not optimistic. But I hope it's a fun game and I hope people like it. But um, I'm pretty sure that I'm an old crusty bastard and I won't like it. Yeah, I definitely prefer real time, personally. But uh, I don't really care about that. Like I said earlier, I don't really like. I don't. I like actually. Look, Kingmaker has shown that it's very feasible to implement both modes because you can play this game in turn based, just by doing that. And turn based is perfectly fine. It works just as you may want it to work. And uh, you can switch between both. 
And I don't understand why Larian, a like million, multi-million dollar studio, cannot do the same. If an indie developer can do it. Don't hesitate. But who am I to ask such questions? But no, the, the the main problem for me with Larian is their writing. I do not like their writing. Uh, maybe they got new writers for Baldur's Gate 3, but I saw some of the dialogue and I was like, oh, it's the same shit as DOS. And uh, yeah, that disappointed me a little bit. The same kind of cringy... Yeah, are they? Okay, they might be indie. Fair enough. I'll give them that then, Pat. But they're definitely like... Way larger than Alcat. And again, I know that people love their games, so I'm not knocking their games because, uh, you know, obviously they're good, otherwise people wouldn't play them. Oh man, I'm so used to fighting this, I was getting already in the choke point. <laughs> Forgot that they're all neutral. Oh, what are we even doing here? Do we have a thing for this? No, we don't. I think they do, <laughs> to be honest. I thought they implemented that, Dwayne. Although I think people were saying that uh, they were kind of broken and that one was much easier than the other. And the same is sort of true for Kingmaker. Like turn base is definitely easier than uh, real time with pause, but I think that's just inherently true of the, the game systems. But yeah, uh, my problem is that I just, when I saw a character named Shadowheart, that just, I don't know man, that triggered me a little bit. Shadowheart, like an edgy teenager. I might have called a, my character that when I was 13. I don't know. I'm probably just being like, extremely childish and pedantic. Not probably, definitely. <laughs> it is what it is. But we'll see. I'll definitely play it. Uh, I think I'll play it anyway. Let's let's not be let's not speak in absolutes. But I'm I'm pretty sure I'll play it. I'll definitely uh, again. Let's not be speaking in absolutes. I'll give it a go if I can. If I can get it on the cheap. Yeah, it's their writing style is exactly. It's not for everyone. Oh, they changed it like that, did they, Dwayne? I thought that you could change in, like, uh, the way Pathfinder works. Still, I mean, even that would be fine for uh, for Baldur's Gate 3, right? That would be perfectly fine. Then everybody would be happy, literally. But, well, again, I don't agree with people who get upset over the uh, mechanics. Like, uh, you can have perfectly fun mechanics, uh, like, either one. I just prefer real-time myself. But I, I don't think, um, I, I remember there was a lot of anger on the Baldur's Gate subreddit when, uh, when it, I don't know if it was announced or just there was some footage release and it became clear that BG would be turn based. It's like, that's ridiculous. Yes, exactly. That's, that's my problem with it, Patsu. And I, I don't, it breaks the fourth wall too much for me. Just a bit too much. Oh, definitely, they're richer than Alcat by a by a big margin. Okay, now I need to make sure that I don't dialogue boss myself. I'm not sure if we need a persuade check or anything, so let's put up some uh, guidance on ourselves just to be sure. Okay, I don't know. I probably have the highest persuade actually. All right, let's see. Okay, I reward your generous call of... Right, okay, and I don't want to do this. Forgive me. Okay, I think I just have to go down and uh, clear out the bottom layer. The bottom...
Well, I mean, you know, their own community is really large. They have a huge fan base, so they, they kind of do. I mean, I'm sure Larian fans are excited. And don't get me wrong, I'm looking forward to Baldur's Gate 3 too. I just hope that, well, I don't hope anything. I just think that we shouldn't view it as a pure, as a, like, as a sequel of Baldur's Gate 2. I just don't think it has, it'll have much to do with the old Baldur's Gate games, really. And uh, that's fine. Uh, that's just the way it is. Because, and that's not necessarily Larian's fault either, by the way. That could uh, just be that, you know, Wizards of the Sword Coast uh, made them do that. Wizards probably wanted them to make BG3, and Larian was like, oh, fine, if we have to. We're, ha we're so happy that we get to use D&D &D 5. We'll do whatever you want, or something like that. I can definitely imagine something like that happening, or that that may have happened. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think. Uh, but still, if it was going to be Baldur's Gate 3, they could have tried to keep it a bit more, you know, in, in spirit of the game. But we'll see. Like, we don't know exactly what the game will be like yet. I think it's only, like, the early game that's being revealed. The early, early game. So we don't really know yet how it will tie into... And I'm sure it will tie into Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, it's their own, um, it's their own rule set, isn't it? I believe, which is actually quite impressive, you know, to design and develop your own uh, own set of rules. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's their, they they made it themselves, which is quite impressive. Uh, uh, for what it is, basically. Right, let's kill some froggies. Not French people. Froggies. Give the order. Request. Yeah. Making our front line here. Boom. Oh, we're putting in some damage now. Oh, come on, cat. No worries, sir, Dwayne. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the follow. I don't believe you can sub to my channel, nor would I want anyone to. It's all good. Thank you, thank you very much. Hope to see you in the future. Do not have it, uh, Raven, at the moment. Because Tristan is still level 4. Oh, con damage. Insane Grog. I agree, Raven. Crazy Grog. Damn it, con damage, eh? On my elf as well. Had to be. Come on, Tristian. Do us some healing. Bring the cat back. Oh my god, how much damage are we gonna take? Seven. <laughs> I do always have uh, animate dead on him. Alright, the cat is back. Oh my god. She's failing every single saving throw. She might actually... DC 27, are you kidding me? I don't think I can save her. I think she's actually gonna die. Uh, whoops. Let me see. Do I have cure poison? He can recall it, right? But I don't think it's... Does that work? Come simply immune to poison. Okay. Treat poison action. Rebuke death. I think this should work, right? Temporarily immune to poison. Any poison in the system or any poison to which is exposed during the spell's duration does not affect the subject until this. Second from top right. Treat affliction. Wow. Today I learned. He did it. He saved her. All good. Now we just have con damage. Five constitution. Who needs constitution anyway? I think we have some restoration puffs. Yeah, we do. Let's pop a couple. 
Or just all of them. <laughs> yeah, Patu, you just saved the run. I'm not sure if Delay Poison would have worked because I cast it after the poison started. So I'm not sure if that would have prevented it. Because it was still active when I cast it. Yeah, very lucky. And it wasn't even such an easy check. No, it wasn't. Oh, no, 20, sorry. It was pretty easy. 50%, a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, this is- I've never come for this angle, so I'm not used to- Oh my lord, okay. My lord Christian. This is gonna be problem. <laughs> right, what can we do? We can- uh, Oh, she doesn't have shield up either. Well, what we can do though is uh, do this. Uh, we can do- We only have one of these. It's either on Valerie or on Jaythal. Jaythal is almost dead though, so maybe we go on Valerie. Go for Valerie here. Um, Stay we have Glitter Dust. Okay. Okay, just for the back spawn, that's going to come come up right now. <laughs> exactly. We won't need. We won't need to spend any resurrection scrolls on Jaythal. The only problem is that uh, looks like we're gonna uh, have to fight this with barely a front line. Get him! Get the stupid backspot. Okay, we've got him. Ah, okay. Let us strike as one. We should go for him. Could have cast this on the Jaythal, though. Okay. Fine, we'll lose you. Okay, he's blinded. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, this is going all right. Okay, where is Radagast? Okay, going for the... For the Grease. That's good. Oh no, he cast fucking shield on Jaythal, didn't he? <laughs> when she was dead. Okay, just off. Tristan. Okay, I think we'll be okay. Is it Cat? Cat is dead though, but... We can risk a channel here, because uh, I think the centipede is blind. So you probably miss on the attack of opportunity. Good. Okay. This is going pretty well, actually. Let's go for a magic missile. Oh, come on, stop it. One more magic missile. Bethel's down again, that's fine. Hello, Drago. All good, sir. Thank you very much. How about yourself? Get him. Oh my, he's almost dead. Oh, we got him. Nice. I was a little worried there, not gonna lie. <laughs> yes, indeed, Patsu. He's a master of Greece. There we go. Did it? Uh, I wasn't worried for a second. I'm lying. I was pretty worried. I was pretty worried. Okay, there's not too many hard encounters left, I believe. There's just a couple of uh, skeletons, right? But we can rest before those. I think we'll have to. Because of Jaythal. Oh, she's such a pain in the ass to heal. Uh, what's going on behind your house, Drago? What are we looking at? We're looking at XP. Let's have a peek. What's Tristan? Okay, 400. I think... I think we should get it... We should get him to level four, uh, 5, which is the most important thing before fighting Tartuk. Did they open the sewage? Are they fixing the old pipes? No, no, no. Let's not mess with those, actually. There should be an es es escape exit. Yeah, there's an exit over here. Okay, good. Oh. This body holds no more. So it's full of wildlife, eh? And they poop and shit everywhere. Well, pooping is the same as shitting, as far as I'm con concerned and aware. 
So it's basically a zoo. Assist me or lose me. I know that animals can smell really bad. Yeah. My dad used to be a veterinarian and uh, man, he would bring home injured animals. We'd had a, we, we had a zoo at our house and some of them stank. I'll tell you, birds were the worst stinkers. Well, at least it's summer where you are. Tell me, Valerie. I only wish it. I wish it was summer, man. It's been too long. But that certainly doesn't help with the uh, the old stench. I'm sure. I'm listening. Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's alright. You have two more on her. I gotta say, I'm not sure if we can actually fully heal her. Yeah, well, we can. Yeah, this this year the spring in Europe has been really crap. Like, even for European standards, it's been crap. And in general, the states has way better weather than uh, Europe. Sunny, sunwise, let's say. But yeah, it's been shit, and it's still cold. And I saw next week it's going to be cold still. Don't know what happened this year. I think actually, I think I read something in the news about some polar something polar happened. Don't know, don't care. All right, let's fight some of them. But in the end, it doesn't matter because I'm sitting inside playing computer games. And there's uh, still a curfew. Well, not really a curfew. There's a lockdown, though. It is a little milder than it was. But still no restaurants open. No, it does not. I agree, Drago. Nobody wants to smell a dumpster fire. Yeah, and it's true that cities always start smelling really bad in the summer, don't they? Uh, if they have poor drainage, I guess. Which is true of every city in Greece. And they they stink in the summer. No offense to any Greek peoples in the chat. But I was expecting a more pleasant spring, guys. The fuck? Is this shit? Okay, no, no. Sing, Jaythil, sing. Yeah, you know, she's undead, so her vocal cords should be pretty crusty, right? So there's no way she can sing. There shouldn't be any way that anybody undead can become a bard because they can't sing. I know, Raven, but I don't have level five yet. There is no way physically possible to get animate that at this point. I actually forgot to cast some spells, but it's fine. Wow, we got hit by the skeleton. Oh no, the uh, this tends to happen sometimes. Like somehow the game is bugged and it only lets me. Like, I think it thinks the wall goes continues or something. So maybe if we walk backwards, we really need to, uh, yeah, trigger millions of attacks of opportunity. Basically, we want to make sure that we can land our glitter dust. Okay, apparently we can land it like that. Let's move Christian back a bit. Have Jaythel sing. Move the cat forward. Okay. Jaythel sing. Christian hang back. For the, is that a bless? No. For the bless. I am playing, sir, a uh, Eldritch Scoundrel with an Eldritch Archer dip. Basically what the Eldritch Archer always wanted to be. Because the Eldritch Archer spellbook is pretty crap. 
compared to the uh, plain or normal wizard's spell book. That's the idea. And also, Eldritch Scoundrels get 75% uh, uh, attack bonus, right? So that's pretty decent. And we'll dip into uh, Eldritch Knight for the full attack bonus level. So we'll get our max, we'll get our max attacks with all the feats associated with that. And uh, every time we crit, we'll be casting Hellfire Rays. But okay, that's that's for the future. But basically, the character can pump out some serious damage. It's a it's a pretty good uh, character. I've played it before, and it was definitely one of the more successful runs I've had. Easier as well. The problem is that it requires a sturdy front line, and that is something the game does not provide for you unless you build your own mercenaries. So we've had to go with the Jaythil as a bard, and I made Valerie a uh, melee sork, and I hope that pays off later. Yeah, it is, Patu. Oh, she had to get crit, didn't she? Well, looks like we're in for a tough one here. No summons either. Can we hit them again with a glitter dust? Okay, but we have Tristian who can technically maybe heal them. Wow, it didn't land again. How stupid is this? Why does that happen? We really want the Glitter Dust to land. Okay, we Glitter Dusted. Uh, the important one did not save. Did save, I mean. Unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll have to go for Grease here. I'm kind of tempted to play this character again. I feel like... Death is approaching, boys. <laughs> well, don't have any more glitter dust. We'll have to go for greases now, and the cat is strong cat. Um, do we have anything else that we can do? Hold on. He cannot use a wand of grease, but can he do anything else? We have, we have a wand of moderate wounds. We could try to. Oh wait, Valerie looks like she's getting up. Okay, that's good. That's very good indeed. And we'll try to do that on her then. The cat just needs to live a little longer. Maybe we should go for a channel actually. Okay, we really want the grease to come off. Okay, that's good. Two of them got greased. And the important thing is that uh, we kill the guy with the Great Axe. Because he's wielding a Great Axe. Okay, he's dead. Okay, we've got this. Okay, cute. I've done a similar build, but I never dipped into Thug. I wouldn't go through... Oh, you're going Dex, I see. I'm assuming then. Gago. All right, we got this. We're all good. Billy was joking, guys. No mansion stream today. Let's keep it like that. No mansion stream today. Whew. I have a similar build. So I was actually playing a build because I wanted to make like a arcane casting thief character with sneak attacks. I concur. Exactly. She, she sacrificed herself once again. Once again, Jaythil. Jaythil really needs level 5. Badly. She'll get Crane Style at level 5 and that should beef her up just a touch. State your desire. 2k. 200 on Tristian. I think we'll get level 5 on Tristian before we... Uh, let's not order cast that though. I feel like we need a rest again, though. God, having Jaythel on your party is so tedious. I'm not even... I'm a little afraid to fight this thing. Yeah, that's... Thug does, does make it easy to uh, CC. Like, if you don't have a... Uh, 
any other means. Actually, it's probably one of the best CC CCs in the game. I just find it annoying the way that everything starts running around when you fear things as a thug. Actually, ah, let's just kill this thing. I think we should be fine. Jaythor, you're gonna die again? It's fine. I'm pretty sure she's gonna die again. But it's all part of the plan. Oh, no glitter dust though. Forgot about that. One more true strike in the pocket. Okay, didn't need it. And basically I did the Eldritch Archer dip for the extra attack. That's the only reason. The free extra attack. That's pretty nice in the early game. But don't you think you lose a bit too many spellcasting levels, Grego, by having to go three rogue? That's why I don't like going uh, dex builds. If you do that, I would say go Elder Scoundrel and go dual wielding. But yeah, then you don't get the, uh, the thug stuff. But I've actually made a th or theory crafted a, an elder scoundrel dual wielding size, um, which I was playing like so last week. Was it not too long ago? I think it was a character that died at the Staglord or something. Yeah, it died at the Staglord, didn't it? But I've refined it now. And uh, I think actually Elder Scoundrel isn't as bad as people make it out to be, depending of course what you want to do once again, because like for pure DPS it's definitely probably not the best, but it'll do pretty good and it'll be pretty tanky at the same time. We got a kind of crappy rolls for Jaythil's heals and for Christian's to be honest, but it is what it is. Let's continue. Oh, you can bull strength Jaythel. That's weird, but you cannot enlarge her. I always thought you couldn't use bull strength on her either. I guess enhancements do work on undead. You just can't make them bigger for some reason. Well, the reason is probably because it would be broken considering how many buffs they get, or immunities, I should say. All right, we still have some stuff to clear here. Let's take off her shield again. And let's buff her a little bit, just a touch. Oh, you oh, popped this bless already, okay. So, for example, Eldritch Archers don't get a Hurricane Bow for some stupid reason, which is obviously one of the most important spells for any kind of Archer character. And I'm not sure if they even get uh, Sense Vitals either. I'm pretty sh I feel like they don't- oh my god. Cat taking punishment once again. I feel like we might have to drop a degree. So this time we can actually get the Glitter Dust on them for some reason. Weird. Okay, let's sing. Is she wearing armor? Typical Billy move would be to have her not wear armor this whole time. Okay, there she is. You can get a big boost to your AC. Yeah, this, that's the nice thing about dex builds. Uh, they, their AC scales really well early on in the game. Of course, later on in the game, it matters little. You can get the same amount of AC with a strength-based build with just 14 dex because of the way the game scales AC. Yeah, the cat is actually down. Maybe we want to channel a little, little bit. Come on. Frontline once again. Overrun. Jaythil sacrificing herself. Body and soul for this run. Yeah, me too, Pato. I'm always for strength. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's what she's thinking. That's her strategy. Okay, how are we actually doing? Valerie is actually taking some decent damage still. 25. What are we missing? Armor. Yeah, that, that helps. There's a secret strategy where you wear armor on your tanks and then they get more AC. But I didn't know about that strategy. Billy doesn't know about that strategy. Secret strategy. It's pretty OP though, guys. You should try it. <laughs> oh, stop hitting her. She didn't do anything to you guys. It's not her fault she's not wearing armor. Okay, we got two Skelebros left. Let's kill this guy. If you go wizard, if you go EK, I would always go for that kind of build. I would always go for uh, Sork, so you can go Dragon Disciple. What's up, Havoc? What does it say exactly? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Let's move our main character out of the way. Tristian, Tristian can't actually die, so. It's fine. We can go back to base to pick him up if he gets crit or something unfortunate happens to him. But I think we should still be alright. Yeah, we're fine. Um, the only way I'd play that is as a mercenary, but my mercenary slot is taken up as a... Uh, for the Sylvan Stork. And I really don't think I want to go without the Sylvan Stork, to be honest. I've never been tempted to ditch it. It's one of the things that I'm sure of for almost any run. Maybe if I played, a, of course, other than the, if I was playing a Sylvan Sork myself or any kind of other. Maybe if I was playing an Arcane Trickster, I might not go for, with the Sylvan Sork. Oh, oh great. <laughs> well, she made it at least. She can't spot the trap, though. Uh, the problem is that if my main character does not have arcane spell casting, oh, if it's a frontliner without arcane spell casting, there's just a ticking. There's a timer going until it dies because of a crit. Um, do we have any way to heal her? I think we spent everything. Yeah, we did. But there's just some spooters left, right? As far as I remember. So that shouldn't be too hard, you'd think. Right, let's maybe, uh, Valerie, would you like to wear some armor? Yeah, I think she does. Although, maybe take it off. Shield. And wear it again. <laughs> mm, let's go for it. He's got plenty of channels left. I also feel like this spell is underrated. Blessed Weapon is actually so great. Well, it is really nice. The, the automatic crit confirmation really helps a lot, especially if you're playing a character with low attack uh, bonus. And that's not really the case at the moment, so now it's maybe not as useful. There's definitely a situation where it where it's pays for itself. What is she? Oh, uh, the animations are broken. Happens sometimes, I guess. Seen it happen before. Alright, let's go. Ooh, crappy. Let's share this XP, because we... Oh wait, no, Tristan got level 5, didn't he? Nice, finally. We can get rid of this, and uh, we can stick in an extra heal for Jaythal. And maybe a Bear's Endurance for now. Yeah. And we'll go for Communal, Animate, Fireball. I will switch this out for Resist for uh, Tartuk when we get there. So okay, we can just nab this XP for ourselves. It's all good. Stop 
Alright, Spooters. Oh, come on. She's wearing armor. You shouldn't be able to get hit anymore. I did wish, though, that they made uh, a way for... Maybe they should have added a feat, you know, at level 15 or something. Or maybe even for as part of a prestige class that'll let you apply your armor to your touch AC. That would have made armor builds so much better then it would have been viable to actually wear armor in the game. And I think that was a totally fair feat that should be in the game, no? Only makes sense. You, you can apply power, ace, power shield AC to touch. Now why wouldn't you be able to... I guess I thought it would be too strong. What do I know? Are you listening, Alcat? Because I wouldn't mind playing a heavy armored dual wielding, you know, dual two hammer wielding dwarf or something. That would be fun. Right here, my friend. That you could just pass through magical armor? Give the order. Oh, you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, that is a little strange, isn't it? Counterintuitive. Oh wait, let's not trigger that trap. Let's just uh, do something a bit more clever. We will prevail. Yeah, exactly. Like your your fingers go through the armor magically. Incorporeal fingers. If anything, there should be a feat that gives you like invisible fingers. I touch you with my my invisible fingers. Faithful really has sacrificed a lot for her, for us. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys know that Spawn of Rovagog's touch AC is 19? Share your will. It's basically just as high as the uh, the assassins in the mansion. <laughs> exactly. But it's undead. It's already dead, Patu. Can, can you kill that which is already dead? I think not, sir. I think I not. How does one kill that what is already dead? With love. Oh, did we uh, forgot to guidance ourselves here? I feel like... Oh, okay, she failed the check. Tristan also has decent perception. I think I gave him skill focus perception. I was kind of an autopilot leveling him up, but I feel like I did... Oh no. Exactly, Patu. That's the real question here. Thing is, I have to remember also that I don't think Jaythal and Tristian get along that well, do they? Later on in the game though, that's a problem for much later. Ooh, he spotted it. Well done, Cat. Don't do that. Okay, well. Pretty big turning circle for a cat, like. There we go. We're good. Oh, let's have Jaythal. Oh, sorry, Valerie. Cast shield. Yeah, level two shield is still a bit, a bit too short to. It's a little annoying to keep up all the time still. Wretched things. Get the charge off for a change. Ask. And Scared. yo. Yeah, let's go for Glitter Dust. Well, why the hell not? Yeah. 
Actually, I think after this we've done most... Ooh, well. I've never seen that happen before. All the way off the map. Alright, I think we have all the things that we need for solving the quest. It really has been a while, though, since I've done it this way. So let's move our MC back a little bit, maybe. Just maybe. Jaythal, Jaythal, Jaythal. 25. I mean, yeah, that's pretty shit, let's be honest. We saw how much Valerie was getting hit with 25 AC. And even next level, she won't be that much better. Yeah, she does. She's 39. I mean, that's not bad, really, considering that she's mostly bard levels. Uh, somebody else confirmed that in ch chat the other day, because I was wondering that myself. Hmm... Let's just give her the tower shield for now and not worry about casting shield on her. Don't hesitate. Right. Yeah, there's still a couple of centipedes left, I believe. A couple, I say. A couple, he said. Uh, what might? Wait. No, I dropped from the Queen Patu. Yeah, there's only the Wisdom one here, and I think because we're not killing them, I don't think we'll get them. Which is another reason why I normally kill them. But I guess we could buy it if we really wanted to. I believe Oleg sell sells that kind of stuff as well. But uh, we don't really want to spend money on that. We'd much rather spend it on uh, rods. Meta magic rods. I do believe we still have. We still have our resurrection scroll, don't we? Uh, knock on wood. That no, we don't need that anytime soon. But that means that we can afford to buy maybe the empower rod even with a bit of luck. Uh, I should have memorized the uh, resist. Boy, uh, resist element communal and go for uh, acid. That would have made this a little easier. Yeah, that's one of the things that I don't like. Like, you save them all, your goody two shoes. Actually, in this instance, you're like a chaotic neutral goody two shoes. But the reward is crap, really. <laughs> it's non existent. I don't even think you get more XP for it than doing anything else. And it's a shame. I think the, the rewards could have been balanced a little better. Wait, where is Etsy here? There we go. And we can wear this on... Bethel has one. Valor has one. I do not. Let's stick on our main character. And actually, our mercenary can wear this. All right, let's not forget to fill up those new spell slots. I'm tempted to just throw in another one of these. Okay, only one level one spell slot. Yeah. No, magic is definitely not underwhelming. I would say still, actually, the higher level spells are a little underwhelming, but uh, it's definitely... Actually, I'd say it's a, a requisite, especially on higher difficulties. You need to have uh, CCs to make the game playable and buffs. I'd say the game is mostly about knowing what stacks with, like, yeah. The trick is knowing what buffs stack with each other, right? Like, for this character, I only recently found out that Enlarge and Hurricane both stack. For some reason, I assumed they wouldn't because they enlarged the size of your bow. And I thought that couldn't happen twice. That's what she said. That won't work better. That was a good one, if I may say so myself. Right. Is there anything here? Uh, there is an Irie over here, which we forgot. I don't think there's anything particularly interesting there, but we'll have a peek. We'll have a peekaboo.
Yeah, but I miss, uh, like, I miss time stop and hard wilting. And meteor comet. And what was the other one called again? I think Dragon's Breath is in the game, but it's 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 a piss poor version of it. It's basically a fireball that you can change the uh, elements for, for, I think. I mean, from level nine, unless you're spec into weird, right? There's no other spells that you. Uh, Heroic Invocation is decent, but that's just a buff, right? None of the other spells are like. That interesting. Communal mind blank just because it's quality of life for the whole party. Yeah, I am. Um, I haven't uh, played with a. Uh, well, I played with an arcane trickster actually. On a high level, and it was pretty fine. Yeah, I totally agree with Patsu. Time Stop is, is such a fun spell, really. I can understand that it might be difficult to code, though. But is it really? Basically, they just have to code, like, the pause effect for everything except for one, for one character. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I missed Greater Missile Stone. That was an awesome spell as well. No, we want time stop. And we want it now. Are they going to add any spells in uh, Wrath of the Righteous? Do you guys know? Um, right, let's talk to the gatekeeper, I think. Oh, there's a centipede. Secret centipede. I guess these are the gatekeeper's pets or something. Oh, that's a decent bit of... Uh... Oh, and he gives a bridge ho pat hoist. The bridge hoist part. I agree, Pat. Well, I mean, weird is a save or suck spell, and... Hard wilting is a save or die spell. More, well, not save or die, it's save or... Actually, weird is a save or die. Hard wilting just nukes. AoE nuke. But hard... Uh, weird has a double save, which is not ideal, in my humble opinion. I don't think that would work on hard. Havoc. Jabberwock will save against weird, in my experience. Well, if they save against most things. Unless you just try again, I guess. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah, that's true. Whale is a... But then again, it doesn't affect uh, undead. But does uh, I don't think hard wilting affects undead either, though. To be fair, does it? Don't remember if Baldur's Gate it worked like that. I don't know. I just felt like the the sp spells were a little cooler in Second Edition. There are a couple. There are a couple of things that I kind of miss from Second Edition. One is the spells because I never. I think Neverwinter Nights actually did have time stop. Now that I think of it. Oh, nice! We got this thing now. Will we get to level 6 before Staglord? Nah, I don't think so. Ooh, let's not trigger it. Alright, let's get out of here. Actually, no, we need to... I think we can do the Might Queen. I just want to go down here and... Uh, hoist the bridge or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I remember that it did. Yeah, the problem with Neverwinter Tonight was the really shitty uh, campaigns. I played the, the... What was it called? Dagger? Daggerford? That was decent. That was fun. I had fun playing... Uh, whatever it was called. S Storms over Daggerford or something. But all the other OCs are pretty mediocre. 
Although, yeah, well, Shadow, SIU and, Ho and the other one are alright. Now that I think of it. I did enjoy them. But Neverwinter Night, I mostly spent theory crafting, and that's basically where Pathfinder came from, right? Yeah, definitely. The worst part of Neverwinter Night was the companions. Definitely. I agree. Hard agree. But there's some decent modules. I, I think uh, I played one that I actually really enjoyed, and usually I'm a bit skeptical of, uh, you know, of modules because people write like really trashy stuff like 50 shades of gray level maybe not even that dialogues and it's often but anyway i played one which was good sword flight i think it was called yeah yeah i agree sou and, and hotu were all right i especially like the wait what was the one with the desert area i like that one was that Ch i think that was sou yeah, the Underdark was afterwards. Words of the Underdark was fun in the beginning, but then it kind of fell off or I don't know. I remember getting a bit bored towards the end. Yeah, I think I I enjoyed the lower level campaign more. For sure, in that game. But they... But if your companions rejoin, they will be brought to your level though, Havoc, which is quite beneficial, right? They can be as far behind and it won't matter. They don't always die. I think it depends on how you resolve their personal quests, right? That determines whether they die. Actually, we need to change old uh, Tristian spells here. Uh, yeah, I think that should be fine. But it's not RNG, I mean, right? That's what I'm asking. Is it RNG? I thought it was... I'm pretty sure it was determined by whether or not you resolved their quest line. Or in which way you resolved it. Really? I don't know. It seems strange. I just had Jaithel get killed. Right here. The last time I, I played through it. Don't know, don't and I don't know everyone else's quest, but... I think I actually had two mercenaries though. Oh, that kind of sucks. I never knew that that was random. Well, in that case, if we ever get there, we'll just hire mercs. It is what it is. And I was thinking of, uh, you know, hanging uh, Christian from a tree this run, because we're chaotic neutral, so we can do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that's why they added, well, maybe not the only reason, but definitely helps that there's mercs in the game. I quite like the the companions though a little a little bit. I like them a little bit. Except for Jaythel, she's just I annoying. And so is Tristan, he's a traitor. That's ready too. And Lindsay is annoying. No wait. Okay, I don't like them. <laughs> no, Lindsay's not annoying, guys. I was joking. I know everyone loves Lindsay. Give the order. Let's see. Let's take off. Uh, maybe this is... Ooh, we need to heal Jaythel. Alright, perfect. Where is my... Ah, here it is. I wouldn't know what BSG is personally. BSG. Big Scary Giant. 
Oh no, that's the BFG, the big friendly giant. Oh, Battlestar Galactic. Oh, well, I should have known. I really enjoy that show, but it's been a while, I'll be honest, since I watched it. It's been a good long while. Oh, I remember now, they were always saying frack instead of fuck. That's funny. Oh, I see. Don't hesitate. I see Havoc. Confide in me. Fair enough, I do the same. Um. Right, what were we doing? Shield on her. Let's just go for it. I should actually rewatch re it. I haven't asked. I haven't watched watched it for so long. We just rewatched uh, Arrested Development, uh, the wife and I, and I have to say that show holds up really well. It's really funny, especially the first two seasons are really funny. Yeah, I, I remember that not every season was as good, but uh, in general, I thoroughly enjoyed that show. I've actually been watching, uh, well, I watched The Expanse last year. The Expanse is pretty good if you enjoy science fiction, and um, it's like a realistic take sort of thing. Mm, I think we're just... I'm not sure if I actually have to talk to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's trade fireballs. Let's see how that goes. So far, that strategy has worked really well for us. Go for a blind back here. Oh, he's glitter dusted. That's nice. Oh, he actually got tripped by the leopard. All right, easy. Oh, what's happening back here? To old Radagast. <laughs> Radagast the brown. Be true to your name, sir. Actually, let's not pop a uh, grease down there. It's just gonna be obnoxious. Get in the way. Yeah, okay. CGI is a problem, right? Especially early CGI. Mid-2000s, it already gets a lot better. Oh, no. I'm not rather acid brown. Oh, wait. Are we being... Piss off, little bubble sentinel. Share your trouble. Oh, that was a shit roll, Tristan. You can do better than that. Come on. Yeah, that's better. Count on me. Oops, damn it. Nice, okay, this at least will be a little upgrade for Jethel. A teeny, teeny, weeny one. 26 AC she'll, AC, AC she'll have now. Right, now... Aren't we supposed to get approached by the Might Queen and give her our glove? If all goes according to plan? Yeah. Still, Star Trek of old is way... Well, I don't like the new Star Trek. The one on Netflix, I don't like it all. Picard was a little better, but still not really good. What do I do here to make the join me? Is it the chaotic ne neutral one or do I have to tell the truth first and then give them my glove? Do you guys know? Yeah, it's too much SJW stuff in there, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, it's terrible. It really is. Do I tell the truth and then get the, the, the glove, or do I lie now and then give them my glove anyway? Oh, I, maybe I should Google this. Hmm. 
I'm inclined to say this, and... Oh, we won't reload. Should I have a quick goog? Let's have a goog. Yeah, that's the thing. I usually kill them, but this, this run I wanted to save them and have them join my kingdom for a change, do something different. But I, I actually want to have that outcome for, for a change, so let's not mess it up at the end now. Uh, There we go. I think I have the answer. Right. Okay. They just say, no, nobody says what to say though. All right. I think we tell the truth. Oh. Oh, here we go. Get to keep both branches. All right. Got it. Cute. Can we talk to them now? The only problem with being chaotic is, of course, that... Uh... Oh, guys, stop making war. New war soon, yeah, of course. Well, we have Jaythel with us. We could easily do... You know what? We need to go to Oleg's first. I was going to say we could easy, easily do Viscount Smolderburn, but we definitely need uh, protection from... Uh... Electricity scroll so that she can read. Does she have UMD actually? Did I give her UMD like a smart boy? I didn't. Damn it. I still think it'll be all right though. Will she get a level? She, she'll get a level when we return the Tartar quest. So it'll all be good. What a sorry spectacle. The treacherous servant of a treacherous king, who in his turn is mere servant to even greater powers. He impersonates a lesser creature and dies. A good joke is a powerful weapon. Sure. And a bad one can seal the joker's fate. So be it. Rise, my unfortunate... I love unskippable cutscenes. They are truly my favorite thing. Every good joke has a grain of truth. That's all you need to know about jokes. That's what makes a joke funny. Just a teeny tiny little drop of truth will do a joke a lot of good. All right, so if we want to do uh, old discounts, but we could clear out the uh, the wolves and crap. <laughs> it seems like that havoc. I'm surprised that you managed to to not get spoiled though, which is impressive in and of itself, to be honest. Okay. How may I help? Or that wasn't the first time you go to the castle knives. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. It shall be done. Me brain, me brain, pretty slow. It's been a long week. Do we mess with these wolfies with the doggos right now? I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll be all right. Famous last words. Will we though? Oh, for some reason I don't really trust it. On the other hand... <laughs> she's full, she has... how long is left? Oh, that's a little short. Yeah, screw it. We'll just go to Olex first and come back and do them. Because we're coming back anyway to kill all the Viscount Smolderburn. I will also do the book event right, right about now. Hopefully Valerie will make his fortitude save as she normally does. Right over here. 
Uh, actually, let's turn on XP sharing. That would be better. Oh, Lord Nature. Okay, that's our decent score. That's crap. Yeah, figured. Should succeed that. Always pick this one and keep your fingers crossed. Nice! Worked through everything like the knife through hot butter and boom, got to watch half my party evaporate despite completing the quest. Looked it up and said their deaths were ultimately an RG thing and to prepare to reload a lot. Hmm. I was really certain that those quests' outcomes were determined by... Well, that outcomes... Those outcomes were determined by the quest states. I'll have to have a look myself. Actually, do we need trickery? A little bit, just to unlock some chests when we fail. Brain style, finally. Okay, good. That's a start. Ooh, and mirror images. Yay. And heroism. Perfect. Right, now we're getting somewhere. I can understand your frustration, Havoc. But you sold it perfectly well. I mean, it really is like, I don't like that whole area. It's such a nightmare, really. I'm dreading, dreading getting there. I might just get there, say, run over, we did it. Oh, no worries, Havoc. But yeah, on the other hand, I know that we'll, it'll be a while yet before we manage to get that far into the game, so I'm not too concerned that that's ever going to happen or that it'll happen anytime soon. Once again, I think. Ah, oh, damn it. We didn't get the, uh, we didn't have XP sharing. If it happens to me, then I will definitely consider a reload at that point. Because I'm as, I am going off of the assumption that uh, it should be fine if you've done their quests. Let's keep that for now. Oh, and sell that. Sell that. Alrighty. Oh, 13k. I feel like we're behind on cash this run compared to where we'd normally be. And I haven't had to spend any money on resurrections either. It's weird, man. Have a peek. What are the, the rods that we want to buy? We want to extend and we want to empower. Oops, we don't want to piss off Panda. Yeah, we can afford those. Wait, do I have level 2 spells? No, I don't, okay. Not until level 6. Uh, let's pick up... Oh, do we have enough money? Yeah, we do. Protection from electricity. Scroll of resist electricity communal. Protection from electricity, two of those. Right, let's go. Yeah, I mean, I will too eventually have a one quick and extend on, well, maybe actually not quick and on this. We'll see, we'll see when the time comes. I'm not entirely sure what our equipment loadout will be because I think that I'll be using some of the rods on my, uh, well, I definitely will be on my uh, Sylvan Sork and not on my main character. I think my main character, because she only casts up to level six, it's not that important. She just needs level six uh, empower and level six quicken. And then she can even have uh, like the normal, like the below level three quick, and that'll be fine. Oh, let's do the troll before we forget. It wouldn't be bad to have a strength belt. That wouldn't hurt, and it should be easy enough now. And we can finally enact our revenge upon this little bastard. The only thing that I know that definitely happens is that. that uh, 
Christian will end up killing Jaisal most of the time if they're both in the party. If you haven't banished him. Spoiler alert. But other than that... Oh, let's have some fun with heroism, actually. That'll be good on our main character. And... <laughs> well, he's easy enough to replace, right? He's actually... If you replace him... You can replace him with a much better character, is what I'm trying to say. Just any Aristotle cleric with animal and community domain will be better than he is in every way whatsoever. So I think that's what I'll do in this run. When the time comes to say goodbye to our beloved friend Christian the Traitor. Oh, right. <laughs> Does she become good then, Patu? There was something, right, with Jaithal. I've never really played with her until late game. But I've, I remember that there is a way. Does she stay alive if you do that? Or does she just really die, die? Die, die. Here. You have my attention. Um, let's have her sing. Uh, oops, should have... Well, let, at least do that. Old Radagast the Brown. Alright, I think I should look up at least some... Uh... Oh, that was a good auspicious start there. Oh, okay. Wow, that was so easy. Can't believe I lost a run to this thing. Okay, cool. But then you lose her for a while, I understand. But that's not a big deal. We can cover that with Reggie at that point in the game. Oh, now what? Right here, my friend. Okay, I'll try and convince her to kill herself. Give the order. She is annoying. Don't hesitate. <laughs> How may I help? Something bothering you? Oh, no. Request. So, do you need to let her kill her daughter, that, or is that her daughter, in that uh, little, uh, those couple of elves that you find, that you need to kill, as part of her personal quest? Alrighty. I think we're gonna go for the strength, actually. Mm, well, does Valerie really need the hit points? On the other hand, Valerie couldn't hit the broadside of a barn anyway. So we may as well give it to Jaithal. It does affect her, though. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. And going Dragon Disciple on Jaithal also, she can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she can go DD. I don't think she's like prohibited from picking any classes, right? Let's see, let's... Our plan was to... Hoover up the last couple of quests here. Ooh. I think we can actually get to level 6 by uh, doing the Rat in the Cave. Uh, or grabbing that XP for ourselves. Try to avoid, and actually, I forgot to buy rations like a true genius, so let's go back to the legs. Although at this point, it probably is not even worth it because uh, we're so close to finishing Act 1 and we're like way good on time. 46 days, yeah. Anyway, too late. Let's just go grab the rations. Oh, I see. Okay. Already in that encounter? When they're next to the river, is that the encounter? <laughs> Looks like my 
cloak is still the size it is when you're uh, enlarged. All right. Um, we had some crap. Let's hang on to that. I guess we can give that to Tristan. Ready? Where are they? They're there. Mm, Twenty-one. Should be fine. Let's go. Ah, sweet. Bigfollows.com. That's my answer. To becoming a world famous Pathfinder Kingmaker streamer. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that's the, that's the area I was thinking of. So let her or let her kill the undead. Wait, did I just say that I was exhausted? That she raised. Yeah, how am I exhausted? No. Weird. Whatever. Advance. I shall end this suffering. What is my uh, I do have the lowest constitution in the party at the moment, I think. All right, let's, uh, we'll try to do that in the, oops, that was a mistake. Not that it matters much. We'll try and uh, have Jaythil do that. But once again, let's not get ahead of ourselves because uh, what are the chances really? Right, apparently it's time for snooze. But how are we exhausted and none of the others are? I know, I feel like there's something not quite right there. I mean, we definitely spoke to David Nethel. Anyway, we're good. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, cool. And then she comes back at the house at the end of time. As an Inquisitor of Phrasma. And in that case, Tristan would probably not kill her. Either, would he? Yeah, but fuck Tristan. That's just my humble opinion. Screw him and the horse he rode in a horse uh, on. <laughs> He's a little traitor. Actually, he's a big traitor, not a little traitor. Exactly. He's definitely not. Um, yeah, let's go for that. I mean, uh, he's not, he's actually well written considering that people dislike him, right? For being a traitor. Uh, what is this? Constitution? Oh, that only works on Valerie. And let's have Jaythil cast mirror images. Although, maybe it's not worth it for this fight. Actually, it is. This thing can really smash us good. Smash us good and hard. How close is Valerie to level 5? Okay, she's quite close as well. Nice. Yeah, he's definitely one of the better ones. Definitely. But I have to say that most of the companions are pretty well written. Oh, come on. I can't cancel the charge. Stop it. Oh, you Shall annoying you... leopard. Here. Uh, okay, let's glitter dust this thing. I wish there was another way. Uh, 
Oh. Uh, okay, I think we're fine because it's glitter dusted. Perfect. It is a little sad to kill this thing, but we want that XP. 402. The thing is that he's like kind of been plotting to betray you the whole all the time, right? Hmm. Lindsay's just annoying. <laughs> Ash is pretty bad, like power level wise as well. On top of everything else. Definitely one of the worst companions in the game. Maybe even the worst one. Changed my mind. Yeah, actually I'm pretty sure she is the worst companion. Alright. Are these doggos gonna kill us? Oh my god, I forgot to equip my rods. I'm such an idiot. Where's the other one? Actually, nobody can really use the other one yet. Got a little ahead, my, ahead of myself with that one. Alright, True Strike 1 is actually pretty useful. Right. Go. Let's stick to the side here so that we don't get. Flanked as is tradition in Kingmaker. Nope, that one. Alright, let's go. Alright, we'll be lawful good here. Big bad wolf. Alrighty. And glitter dust. Uh oh, we got tripped. That's no good. Okay, glitter dust took a little while. You know what? Let's. Play it safe. There's no reason not to. Let's just drop these things. Uh, last time I didn't do that and we actually almost died. Uh, it was the other wolves though, in that cave. I think we should be fine though. Please sing, Jethel. I thought it must have turned it off. Ooh, close one. Valerie almost actually died there. Right, perfect. Smooth. And so what's Valerie looking at now? Ooh, if we return this quest, it's a thousand XP, that's not enough. But she gets really close though. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's return it and then we'll kill old Viscount. Smolder burn. Feel the burn. And we should be good. We could actually try to kill these mites as well, and that might just give us enough XP to level her up before Smolder Burn. That would actually be really nice if we managed to do that. Just tying up some loose ends. I've discovered ah, good. Okay, we got it. Uh, gonna say, probably not wearing armor as is tradition, though, but she is, which is good. Don't know. Either one of them has the highest athletics. Oh, uh, lame. Right here, my friend. All right, let's use this on oh, Valerie. And actually, breastplate is probably better for her. I forgot. I should have uh, kept the breastplate. Anyway, it's all good. We'll kill that uh, where 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 a rat or is it a where rat? I'm not sure. Ah, it might be a werewolf actually with a plus one breastplate and give it to Jethel. Empower, turn it off, extend. We'll use it later. We will prevail. And uh, we have one more glitter dust. Perfect. Easy. Less weapon coming in that you see all the crits automatically confirmed all thanks to blessed weapon super underrated in my humble opinion of course always a disclaimer oh no but this is why we oh come on that's rare just curious what the check is uh three great oh well it is what it is 
Let's see. Okay, we're going to return this quest, and hopefully uh, Valerie will have enough XP to get one more level. And that should help us a little bit with the smolder burn. But knowing my luck, she'll, she'll be at like 2 XP away or something. I've dealt Oh, she got it. Nice. Perfect. Sork. Wait, does she get her DD levels yet? No, okay. Okay, so she's done with that. She's going to persuade now. What do we want to pick up here? Dazzling or outflank? I think we want to go outflank and pick up outflank next level on uh, Jaythil as well. Oh, she doesn't get it yet because she has a low attack bonus. Fair enough. In which case, we'll go dazzling. Yeah, pretty sure that's what we want to do. What's the next spell she'd take? Probably True Strike. And I just realized that we also forgot to do this little area here. I'm assuming we made that check. Uh, we're gonna fail. Okay. I was annoyed because there was nothing in there. And of course we pass a check. All right, last fight of the old Sycamore. We never have to come back here. Well, once or twice, but. God, I'm done with, I'm done with seeing this area. Let's hope that this run actually get, gets somewhere. I am tired of this place. And I'm not sure doing it this way was any quicker than killing them all, to be honest. But like it's more or less the same, maybe a little quicker, but small difference, definitely a small difference. And this, uh, of course, because we're chaotic, we don't get uh, bulletin board. So I, I'm thinking of just picking everything lawful from now on. And hopefully we can get bullets and boards at the well we won't get it at the start yet but at some point in the near future not too distant uh so here we probably want to go for protection the skeleton skeleton bros are no use against a uh, smolder burn they don't last long enough basically what we do want though is an extra Remove fear. The thing is, Jaythal cannot get feared, so he'll always go for Jaythal. So Jaythal, I did give her one point in uh, UMD. Very good, Billy. Very good. So we, I think we'll be absolutely fine. Right, let's be clever here. Take off her armor so she can cast spells, because uh, Smolder Burn actually targets touch AC. We'll do the same for Jaythal, meaning that uh, armor's literally useless against him. And they both get spell arcane spell casting failure from armor, so we may as well not wear it right now. Other than that, I don't think there's much else we can do. Yeah, it's nice. It's actually useful that she has that. We can use it now and then. Let's go. Let's teach the old smolder burn a lesson. A lesson or two. Okay, Jaythal, because you can't get feared, uh, either this one or this one, we'll see how it goes. Who's first? A sh shit roll on Jaythal's initiative roll. Jaythal actually got a decent one. Alright. Stay there Jaythal, just pass this on yourself. Oh, great, it failed. Ooh, that's not part of the plan. That's most definitely not part of the plan. All right, at least you got that off. He's got like a thousand scares in his pocket, so gonna be a while we would really like to have protection from electricity didn't we have another one yes we do good all 
Oh nice, Jason got it off. Perfect. Okay, now we're just gonna group our party over here. And uh, let's try to get um, this off on most of the others. Let's get the cat over here as well. Oh, uh, we didn't get it on the cat. Oh, usually he just goes for Jaisal. Okay, but we got like protection from electricity on most of our party, so... <gasps> He's going for my main character. Please don't do that. Discount Smolder Burn. Please don't do that. Okay. Valerie... Radagast, where's Tristian? Oh, yeah, he's back here. You cannot scare Jaisal. She is afraid of no man. I am no man. I'm just thinking, like, maybe... We should stick a protection of a, uh, from electricity on our main character, just in case. He decides to go after again, but I'm not sure if that's most smart move right now, actually. Ooh. Alright, this is what he needs to do. He needs to just go after Jaso. The undead booty. And we'll just wait for his scares to expire, and then wait for the 20s to roll in. I do have some true strikes, which might help. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure he has at least two or three more scares left. There, here goes one. Or not. I'm surprised he doesn't have any more. Fine. Um, oh, we didn't give her a magic missile. That would have been useful now, actually. Uh, too bad. Let's uh, bless myself. I bless myself, sweet child of mine, and we'll stick that on myself. I'm pretty sure he's evil, so bless weapon should work. And uh, bless on ourselves. Let's pull ourselves a little closer. Bless will actually help us save versus scare. Now let's buff ourselves with this lady. Any other buffs that we have? That we could use. Just stick this on us just in case. And uh, I think that's about all he can do, really. Go for this. Oh, I should have used extend. That was silly. And uh, she should be singing. Well, soon she should be singing. Oh, it would be nice if she could cast heroism on my main character here. Yes. I believe so. That's it. So it should definitely help, but let's see if she can turn around and keep his aggro. Give it to me, Jaithel. No! Okay, stick this on Valerie then. Plus, Jaithel was getting low, so it's not a bad idea that aggro is switched anyway. Okay. And then... Do this. Jaithel can sing. She can cast True Strike. Let's not extend the True Strike, that's useless. Alright. We should be able to hit him now, right? You'd think. Let's actually glitter dust him before I forget. Uh, the animation is bugged. Okay, definitely hit him though. Let's see what we need to roll to hit him with uh, everything on. Plus 34, uh, so we need to roll on an 11 actually. 45% chance of hitting him with True Strike. Uh, not great. Uh, not great at all, but better than nothing, I guess. We have everything on? Yeah, we do have everything on. Yeah, 45 touch even. Oh, we killed him. Easy. 810 XPs. Not a problem. Let's go back into the animate dead. 
Are we missing anything here? No. Okay, good. Smooth sailing. I'm telling you, this character is working out really well. I'm just concerned about my front line, but I, I'm not sure how to fix it. <laughs> Maybe we should bring along... Ah, oh man. Bring along a Mary, I was thinking. Yeah, it is. It's pretty small. But um, I think if you... So I cast Mirror... Uh, sorry, uh, Magic Missile on him, and that triggers him to cast um, Shield. Which adds 4 AC. So I think normally it's 41. And... Uh, his shield only lasts two and a half minutes though, so you can just wait for it to expire. And especially if you have multiple people in your party who can cast Magic Missile, it's pretty easy to take him down like that, as long as you have someone who can tank him. Shouldn't be much of an issue. I do believe Heroism adds plus two to skill checks, right? So... That should be good. We should have enough to be able to disarm the traps, and even if we trigger them, not to uh, set them off. Especially if we use him and her song, we should be fine. That's why I like Tristian over Harem as well. It's just uh, the skill boost things, really useful. Alright, she failed. Lame. Okay, he got it. Good job. How may I help? Pretty sure this tax stacks tax. Right here, my friend. Um, the short one is fine, and a blast of this. What's our trickery? Eighteen. Let's assume that's enough. Uh, DC twenty-one. So I don't think we can actually set off the trap. I'm still not entirely sure if that's true, what I'm saying. Like, maybe you could still crit- Like, even on a critical fail. Yeah, unfortunately, everyone is a better cleric than Harem, I'd say. <laughs> it's just that Harem's feet suck and his stats suck, but I definitely enjoy him as a character. Like, he has eight decks. What were they thinking? It just makes him unusable. Can't qualify for any AC enhancing feats. State your desire. Share your trouble. Um, we should actually put this on E. It makes it a bit easier. Perfect. I'm listening. Request. Confide in me. Share your will. Perfect. Yeah, that's true. There are some decent long spears, I feel. Or wait, maybe I'm thinking of glaives, actually. Maybe I'm thinking of glaives. What are we looking at? Okay, ooh, I thought we'd be closer, to be honest. She should have guidanced herself. She should have guided herself. This one is a uh, fat chance in hell, basically. Yep, didn't didn't get it. You have my attention. How Snowball's chance in hell, that's what I was trying to say. Bad chance in hell, whatever. Billy. Keep bullshitting. Yeah, I can't think of any What, isn't incorrupt no incorruptible pedal is a glaive. Yeah. Never mind. Request. I'm listening. I will grant your request. Share your trouble. Smooth. Share your will. Right here, my friend. Speak. Yeah, glaives are. Oh wait, do clerics not get glaives? For some reason, I thought clerics got glaives. Oh, that's lame then. Perfect. We got them all. Your will. Right, so you'd have to dip fighter on him or something. I guess it's not the end of the world. A fighter dip, like almost every class can use a fighter dip. But that kind of makes his heavy armor feet obsolete, right? Like, <laughs> so you're not really gaining anything there. Nah, he doesn't. Yeah, I, I guess the only way you can make it work is do a fighter dip, but you 
share your really wouldn't want to do that. Now, Harem works as a druid, to be honest. Uh, when I just started playing, I, I used to always make him a druid, and it would make the early game very easy. Nice. Oh, it was perfectly calculated. Yeah, well, I guess you could you could make it work, but it's just difficult. Uh, maybe not worth it on higher difficulties, actually, even. Mm, what, what am I looking for here? No, that's not the one. Weapon focus, of course. Long bow. Let's not misclick this. Long bow. There we go. Yay, we made it, boys. Sense vitals. Actually, no, we don't want mirror image. Sorry, we want scrotching ray. Where is it? Scrotching ray. Your ray is so scrotching. Maybe we actually go for two scrotching rays. We're not going to mess with the rat folk just yet. Do not think that that would be very wise. Alright, let's get out of here. Do we want to snooze already though? Not sure. This is the one that we want to do. Yeah, the minus two AC. That's actually super nice. Do we... Let's have a peek. I think we have most of our buffs up. I don't think we need to rest. As long as we have a couple of glitter dusts, it would be good. Ask. Don't need to be st Oh, she was apparently still singing? Weird. No armor, okay. Stick that on myself. We'll definitely rest before we fight the wolves, so... Just because we want the songs up on her. I am your shield. Now there is something to be said to give Valerie the extend rod, but she does have six charges of shield, which is now... 18 minutes of shield, so that should be enough, you'd say. You'd think. Right, he has all this stuff still going. And yeah, this on boy, and a bless. Shield on Valerie, maybe. On. What's this? Uh, okay, this is all good. Let's go. I think I read a Mystic Thurge build somewhere that's sort of viable on Harem. With, because of his necromancy, you can go like Thessalonian Glutton and it's sort of decent. But it only comes online in like super late game, right? Which is typical for a Mystic Thurge. I think that would be like the only kind of viable way to use him and that way you don't need to have him come close to combat ever. You have my attention. I'm listening. And let's see. Uh we need a glitter dust. You should be. Uh we don't need to see that. Kind of makes a thematically makes sense as well that build, I guess, as cleric sense. Oh, that was easy. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna upgrade for Jethel once again. Wait, where is it? Didn't pick it up. Didn't pick it up. Okay, one AC better. All right. Slay some wolves. We're actually cruising through Act 1. Thinking about it, we didn't even use one resurrection scroll, knock on wood. Yeah, I see Havoc. That's cute. 
I think uh, another character that's underrated for offensive buffs is Freebooter. I think the Freebooty is a really strong uh, character for buffs, but people don't really consider it as a buffer. Um, we won't cast Mary Images just yet. She definitely needs to cast Shield though. Hey. Um, yeah, this should last long enough, right? We'll see. Ah, uh, let's stick this on Valerie. Yeah, let's not try the. Let's try to not lose a run here for a change. The last time we did this, we died. Rather surprisingly, to be honest, and rather avoidably as well. I'd say it's not even really worth doing, but uh, I like getting every single drop of XP that's on the map that's possible to get for us. And it's definitely a possible fight. It's not like very hard in general. Oh, well, the last time I couldn't cast cancel his charge for some reason. This time I could. Weird. So what's the point of this? Oh man, the cat. Oh, maybe it got tripped. It got tripped, okay. Still though, cat needs to be healed. Lame. Let's model wounds. Uh, let's use this on the cat. Actually, we don't need to remove fears, but uh, it's fine. Right, let's get out of here. Mm. Oh, she's so annoying. Learn how to use it first. There we go. There we go. Good cat. Good boy. Good boy. It's nice how you can see whether your attack hits before because the sneak attack effect is applied before the uh, attack animation. Okay. And charging makes such a big difference. To make a charging barbarian character with pounce, so it would be fun. It's just, yeah. Melee characters without arcane spell casting spells. Just waiting to die, basically. At some point in the game. It is what it is. Let's have her... Oh, I forgot to cast mirror images like a true genius. Let's move around. Go into the front. See if we can't kill one of them outright. Before the other one comes. Oh no, Tristan got tripped. That's no good. That's how we died the last time. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Tristian's back. Let's pop these fellas and try not to have our front line overwhelmed again. That's exactly what happened last time. Oh, it looks like... Okay, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. I kind of want to hit Silent, the Alpha Wolf. With the Glitter Dust. It's alright, Jaythal. Your sacrifice won't be in vain. Oh, we forgot to cast that on ourselves. Go for... Uh... Oh dear. Jaythal died again, boys. But she's already dead. She's already dead. Okay, I think we got it this time. Revenge has been meted out, ladies and gentlemen. We have killed the troll who killed our last run. We've killed Alpha, the sign. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. She's not dead yet. 
They buffed her? I felt like they buffed her. She was she's definitely a lot tougher. <laughs> oh wait, you're talking about Jaisal. I gotcha. No! Stop it! The hell's happening? Not again! No! <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, I empowered. <laughs> I empowered my true strike as is tradition. Let's try to. Hit her with an empowered scrotching ray and kill her like that. Oh, we got her. Thank the lordy. That was actually close. That was actually close. I underestimate this fight, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, is it? Alrighty. That means there's only one thing left to do. And that's to get killed by the Stag Lord. Actually, no, we should... Uh, I always think there's an exit here, but there isn't. Um... Let's not forget to poison his wine, because we don't have Kressel to help us out. It's actually the first time that I'm going to do the Stag Lord without Kressel to help on a no reload run, because it's also the first time that I'm not playing a good character. So any kind of little help that we can get. The reason I waited this long is to have a bigger chance of succeeding the perception check and the, the nature check. Let's see if it was worth it. Probably not. Nah, I'm pretty sure it will be alright. I think we should pass these checks. Let's check who has... Let's check the checks. Lord Nature... 10, 13, Jaithal. Jaithal is the one. Yeah, he gets to finger Jaithal. Finger her. Good. Exact. Oh. I'm not sure. Let's do it like this. Perfect. Perfect. Everything is set up. There's nothing more we can do. But I actually think... I'm a little tempted to continue playing, but it's getting really late. And I think it would be good to start next uh, stream with uh, some excitement. So I think I'm going to call it here for tonight, boys. It is 1.30. Time for Billy Pilgrim to go to sleep. I must wake up early tomorrow morning. Unfortunately. Hope you guys enjoyed. Much love. Thank you all for tuning in. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you guys have a nice weekend. No worries, Havoc. My pleasure. It's always a pleasure to stream. For you guys thanks for watching and take it easy guys have a nice weekend and i'll, I'll stream this weekend more than likely so i'll probably see you then take it easy guys good night